Disclaimer, this video, like all videos featured on this channel, is definitely intended for mature audiences. This video is likely to contain profane language. Content is inappropriate for minors. Video is not for kids. Welcome to the Dr. Green Dumb Show. Dr. Green Dumb Show. Oh, that's tight. Hey. Did we replace him with Gia? No, GF is still in there. I just didn't catch him, but I was like, I, I, I thought I wanted to say that because it's been so long, GF. Thank you for interrupting the intro. This is the Dr. Green Thumb Show right here on YouTube, Twitch, uh, Discord. And be real TV. I am Dr. Green Thumb. Hello. Welcome to it. Today we got a very special guest up in here. Um, we're glad to have her because she's very off the chain. Megan James is up in here. <laughs> That's right. Joining the squad today. And uh, we also have um son Doobie up oh, in there. Oh, yeah. oh, right here, right here, baby. Soul Assassins, right here, baby. Insane, right uh, here. Up in the treehouse, the treehouse crew, Bolton, Blombo, Bra Bra, and the Dominator. Or we're up here, B. We're baking back, B and Bool. It's various business. <laughs> All business up in here. I know. Hey, don't laugh, Doobie. <laughs> <laughs> I love Damn. You both. I love hey, you, hey, he'll pop a cap at you, son. You better watch out. <laughs> All right, look. Uh, we got the concentrate king up in here, Cali Blaze. Yeah. Squeezing off with oh. the Kung Fu Theater delay. I saw that. That's right. And uh, we got E Zone up in here. Uh, for everybody. Nostradamus. It was, <laughs> it was, I, I lived up to that name this weekend. Well yeah. done. It was like a National Lampoon movie at that restaurant. Over the line! Yeah. There was, you know what? On Motel Mondays, you know, when I was spinning a set after I left, Pedro and I were rolling out and we were doing a little piece for Be Real TV. Um, just like, you know saying what's up and thank you for you know having me spin and all that and there was these dudes on the corner with a tank out in a backpack yeah no. and they were like they, they had their balloons popping off right there on the corner they were having a good here. time i was like where's e zone I, he should be over <laughs> you know I, I i did i did regret missing out when i saw that but i also was recovering man i had just i, I had just made an appointment to get a it, the it, IV drip to get all my B12 back. It went like this. There they go. This is the, the little crew right there. Look, <laughs> got their balloons all filled up. It went from, oh, hey, yo, dumb. there's Be Real, right? Hey, uh, what's up? And then it went, what's up, bro? <laughs> <laughs> what's, hey, yo, there's Be Real. What's up, bro? <laughs> that's, that's how it was. There was a whole lot of tone changing happening in the conversation. But they were having a good ass time, bro. It's the party was in the club, but you wouldn't know that <laughs> because they had their own party popping off outside. It's an antidepressant, bro. It is. They were happy. Yeah, it is. It's scientifically. It's a study that has been conducted on it. You know, that's the second time I've I've run into a balloon squad out in the <laughs> open. Maybe you should try one. No. Maybe you should just to, just to see what's up. Why? Actually, have you ever tried? Have you have you no, thank have you, you done? I've it? tried balloons before. Mm -hmm. Like it's a cool little high for like five seconds. Exactly, five it's a five well, second if high. If you get a bigger balloon, it's more than five. That's why they got to do it all the time because it's only five seconds. Yeah. Yeah, but those are the best ones because you can control them. Like oh. it's like okay, I want to be high for like one minute, not like one hour. So well, what was it? I'm what like was that. it like the first time you you hit it? Um, I thought I was gonna fall over. Okay. You just feel really. It feels good, but you feel dizzy, right. like especially the first time because you don't really know. But after that, I was like, okay, this is fun. And then I just was like, Whoop. Were you sitting down or standing? I up? was standing. How about you, Ezon, when you hit your first balloon? Was at, I was at a kickback. We were at somebody's house. And then I remember they had nice couches. And I, we sat on those couches. And then my friend was like, just he got the tank. So I was right there next to him. I was like, all right, dude, I'm staying right here. And sure <laughs> enough, that's I was sitting down, bro. I do remember passing out. 
Cause it was just it's so cold, but it was comfortable to pass out. Cause I was on the couch, so I just woke back up like like thirty seconds later, and I was like, "Oh, what happened?" So like, you fell asleep. You hit the couch <laughs> of comfort. <huh? laughs> yeah, it's like it's like that the first couple of times. Like, but that's why I always tell you, you got to do it like somewhere chill. Like a party is cool if you're experienced, and then, I mean, and then it also depends on the grade too. Like you know, nowadays you get food grade uh, on Amazon. Food grade. Yeah, it's food food grade. Uh, it's called Great Whip. Great whip. Great whip. Great whip. You just type that in on Amazon and they'll deliver you a 12 pack. Same team. Mm. That's <laughs> interesting. Wow, it put me on. <laughs> put me on. <laughs> All right. Oh Great whip. God. Yeah. You just type in that or just, you know, um, whipped cream cartridge, but usually. That's crazy. And they have them flavored too. That's the best part. I remember in Vegas, they had this convention, bro. Some of them tasted like cheesecake. Some of them tasted. I was like, "Whoa, this Damn. is this is this is way too tempting to want to do it all the time." We will find out, Ezone. We will <laughs> find out if this is true. <laughs> I will find out for I, you. I could tell you, I've been tempted. You know what I mean? I was tempted the other day when you had the balloon here, and I, and then you had it on the funky fill tip, which was like, all right, <laughs> out, you know, I would do that. You know, I had. But then again, I, I was like, yeah, you know what? I won't do that. Be real. Mm -hmm. There's a company that that follows me. They when I used to party, like and I used to do all coke and stuff. Like they make these little spoons. Like so, so they, you know, I have these three spoons that I bought from them, and they follow me back. And they're like novelty spoons. They have like three Pokemon on them, and that was fun. So they hit me up and they watched my story, and they're like, "Yo, where the hell did you get a, a tip for the balloon?" And in the tournament, I was like. This isn't a tip. It's a fuck. Like I had to explain. Well, it is a tip. I know, but I had to explain it to them what it was. They're like, what is that for? It just wasn't for the balloon. Yeah, and they were like, we had no idea. And I think homie bought like uh like the, the really largest ones we have. Oh yeah, just for that purpose. Awesome. So um, awesome. Yeah, they're multi-purpose. What you gonna do, my? Yeah. So shout out to uh, that spoon company. I forget your name. Hey. Um. Yeah. Well, I'll, well, I'll talk about this after because it. <laughs> It was, <laughs> I had one of them nights, but look, um, Megan, you were part of the bad girls club for some, for some time. Yes. How bad were the bad girls? Um, the bad girls were really bad. Like they didn't have no home training. All they did was fight and drink. Damn. You know, it's crazy in that scenario because it seems like, you know, they don't want you to really get along. They don't. It, it seems like, it, you know, obviously people want to see the drama. So they, you know, it, it's it's like they want more um, conflict than they want. Like, we're getting along and it's, mm -hmm. you know, let's go do this together and it's all cool. There's it, there's that part. It seems like there's a formula, <laughs> right? That there's that part where it's like there's a part where everybody's supposed to come together. It's, it's like a cool thing. They're all doing this together. And then somebody snaps. Yeah, but I mean, I feel like they do it on purpose. They took all away, um, took away all of our electronics. Um, we couldn't have any um, like interaction with the outside world. Like you guys didn't exist. How do they right. know? They're just watching you guys. You can't leave. Twenty four seven. There's cameras everywhere. And if you try to leave, they're like, "Yo, I'm gonna go to, to a drive through real quick. They're gonna stop you. They're gonna stop you. Have security cameras everywhere. What security? We, or or yeah. they're or they're gonna follow you to where you. Or they're go. gonna follow you to where you're going. But most of the time, they wouldn't let us do like normal things. And we had it's like jail. We had lights up, lights down. Uh. There was one bathroom for seven girls what? and a, a refrigerator oh. full of alcohol and no electronics. Oh, okay. See, there was that. There was the fuckery right mm -hmm. there. Oh. There was that too. <laughs> see, there, there, there goes the first one. I owe one right now. But that's that. That it. It's right there, right? Uh, a a refrigerator full of alcohol. I mean, what do you think's gonna happen? Just Especially one? when everybody drinks. Oh yeah. If 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 the girls don't drink, it doesn't serve the purpose. I think it still would because we didn't have electronics. Like, there's no distraction if someone's getting on your nerves. It's just like, yeah. are we about to fight or are we not? Because, yeah. like, ain't nobody going nowhere. Right. <laughs> How many real scraps happened? Um, Like, on my season, there was probably, like, 25 scraps. That was probably 10 of them. And you were 10 of them? Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, you were known for not taking anything from nobody. Nah. You ready for the smoke? For the smoke. And for the right. gas and the heat. And the gas and the heat. So if you so if you try to leave it, security was like, nah, you ain't going or you got somebody that's gonna pick you up and put you back in your room? Yeah. Really? Yeah. They didn't play. Wow. And I guess you sign off for that, like when you agree to do the show, right? Yeah, like you just sign your life away. But I was like twenty one, I didn't know any better. And I was like, it looked fun on the outside looking in, but like once you get in there, it's literally gel. It's not so fun, right? Oh. You know, but that's what that that's what they bank on is that you don't know. Yeah. And that you don't have any representations to because if if you have all that 
there's your your representation is going to be like, okay, well, here's what she won't do. Here's what she will do. And they can't have that if they're trying to get all the ratings with all the drama because they want it sort of, you know, unfiltered and maybe not not so scripted, but guided. Right. Oh, yeah. um, I would say that we weren't even scripted. They literally filled the house up with cameras and just let us go. But if we went too far, it's like, of course, like, oh, you can't do that or you, you have to come back or you can't use the phone. But they didn't tell us, like, say this to this person or you guys are going to do this today. It was literally a free for all what with alcohol. Of, Damn. What, kind of, what kind of alcohol they give you? all? Just everything? Just anything. That was like we made grocery lists every week and they would just fill it, go get our groceries and bring like everything, tequila, crown. Um, they vodka. made sure you guys, you we, were stopped. We had to have stopped. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Word. That's crazy. And how many, like, how many girls were kicked off, like, in in the time that you were on? I there? think on my season, about five girls were kicked off, but they're always replaced with someone else. Right. Um. But what's crazy is that they didn't. They never wanted me to leave. Even after like fighting almost every girl in the house, they tried to keep me because they want drama. Right. They're like, oh, if she leaves, everyone's gonna be friends again. Right. Right. <laughs> and so <laughs> I ended up just leaving on my own. I was like, I can't do this anymore. Yeah. Right. I beat everybody in the house if up. I, I, gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> I would imagine that some chicks came in with the chip on their shoulder with, with with you on the show, like, oh, she better not say nothing to me and blah, blah, blah. Well, the blah, thing blah, about right? it is that we filmed for three months and no one knows who's in the house because they take all of our electronics. So if the girls come into the house, they have no idea who I am ah. or that I'm there at all. So are you allowed Unless to- they watched the show before, right? No, because you only get one season. Oh, you only get one season. Mm-hmm. All right. So what about when you got to like talk to the outside world? If you got like a business to run or you got to talk, you can't talk to they your don't parents? Give a, they don't care. Like there's one phone and like we used to call them like God's eyes, like the same thing that the people like whenever we first, the people that you can't see in the back, mm-hmm. yeah. they call them God's eyes. So we would have to ask God if we could use the phone. And um, hmm. they would be in on the call, obviously, like jail. And if you talked about something they didn't want you to talk about, they yeah, click that's it. That's crazy that they monitored your calls, too. I guess they didn't want anything leaking. At so, all. What? And they thought it was that important to keep <laughs> all information, like, For shut three down. right? Months. Damn. That's, that's, a, that's a hell of a, a commitment right there to be three months with no communication with fe- without family or friends. And just knowing anything outside of the damn house. I'm surprised nobody's oh, gone crazy. postal. Yeah. Like, I'm like, yo, man, you should be pushing a lot of people to their limits. That's... And I'm just like, hey, man. I was like, some of these people have been fighting all their life. And they're going to bring that fight from the streets to here if you keep pushing them. I'm like, yo, you don't like, what? for real. I'm just saying, I'm like, how do you know? Be like, you know what, security guard? Thank you. You got me right now. But tomorrow, dog, yeah. I got time. You know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. be like, what if I seriously hurt you or snap, you know? They made us go through psychiatric evaluations first. Before you guys before you guys oh, went damn. in. Mm-hmm. Make sure that you, you don't have those tendencies. Like, what, oh, what is it? Somebody does it. What, I, I'll jugular. What kind, first. Of, what kind of questions did they ask you guys? Um, Like... Like, do you feel loved? Do you have bad dreams? <laughs> wow. um, like, they ask, like, I think one of the questions is, like, what's your, like, sex, something about sex. Hmm. Like, how we viewed sex. I don't know. It was a whole bunch of crazy questions. Like, it's a priority or is, like, your identification? Um, I think, like, does sex feel good to you? Like, something like that. Hmm. <laughs> like, something like that. That's some Scientology shit. <laughs> oh, there you go. Hello. Well, uh, I, I think they want to know, like, what kind of behavior is going to happen in the house because they, they got to, like, is it going to be the type that we're going to be able to cash in on or that we're going to catch controversy over but the wrong controversy, right? Right. Right? So they want to know. They're like, be like, are you a rapist? Like, we need to know. Right. You know, because they, they asked, I've taken the Scientology uh, entry test when I, I, we rented out this, like, auditorium. I didn't rent it out, but I just performed there. And I just remember, like, I, I went for a tour. I fell, I fell for it. And I remember I took the <laughs> test, bro. And they were asking questions like that. That was one of the questions on there. They're like, no I, like, what do you view sex? Does sex feel good to you? And I was like, I'm like, it's funny that you bring that up because they asked you that in the application. Well, really, all those those questions and tests and stuff like that are to see if you will follow the line. If you're too much of an independent thinker that is not going to follow the line, they will pluck you out and be like well this i don't think this is for you or we can't really roll this way we right we have a genius over here yeah yeah (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) not not with scientology though because i did some research on that they make you fail on purpose so that you can pay to take it again right you see because they know that people want to be a part of something that the fact that you're in there in the first place (laughs) that's the first real in 
You know what I mean? Did you, did you do yours? I did. All right. Well, cheers. I caught up fast. <laughs> my. These guys, they've been but, cleared. They've been cleared. He's on. But, you know, like <laughs> with the TV show, you know, they're investing in the people in it. And they want to make sure that everybody is like going to bring to the table or is able to bring to the table what they need to make that show crack. You know, so they need a little bit of crazy. They need a little bit of calm. They need a little bit of funny. They need a little bit of sadness and a whole lot of anger. Word. And you mix that that up right there, boy, you got some TV. Were you angry at the time of the show? Like, is that where, or are you just like, kind of like. No, I really went to have a good time. I just wanted to have fun. Like, I had just graduated college. I was like, I'm about to go on a three month vacation. They filmed us in Cabo. I thought it was going to be like amazing. Oh. And it ended but, up being Jello Mexico. But, yeah. they, but they, they, they wanted to make you guys angry at some point to get those sparks. Yeah, right? but they, um, they, I feel like they purposely cast people that have different personalities, like you were saying. Like, like they'll cast somebody that they knew wouldn't get along with me on purpose. So right. the co so the COVID restrictions weren't anything to you, huh? You're like, nah, I've already. We done didn't have before. COVID. Well, no, I know, but I'm saying that's like that, when that came that, around, that, it's like she's no, already that, been through. No, no, the, no, that show was like way before. I, I know, but was the way she's making it sound like it sounds like it's like, yo, you was you oh, already yeah, for, seen these restrictions yeah. already. Like yes, we gotta be inside. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The, the, the restrictions are familiar. Yeah, it's like you can't go out. I did this for a whole season. It's like we were good. <laughs> that's that's you know that's got to be crazy to give three months up like that where you're just completely, you know, cut off. Yeah. Now now you went from that to eventually basketball wives, right? Yeah. What was the difference in that? I mean, I know there's got to be a huge difference because you're not locked in for three right. months like that. So on um, basketball wives, we filmed for a bit longer, and it was more like a job. It's like um. You go to work, you go to set wherever the set is for the day, and then you go home. Does any yeah. does anybody play basketball actually? <laughs> like I'm just I'm wondering like um, like does any like do you give you all court be like yo can, can y'all just well, hoop for an about, hour real quick? No, it's, <laughs> not, it's not about them playing basketball. I know, but I'm just saying with a name like that, it'd be like yo put a hoop in the back. One of them's got a hoop. Let me just get a few shots. I feel like that would have been a great. <laughs> we got to get a one on one <laughs> popping off. Yeah, like a two on two. Be like, yo, could you imagine? Uh, we pay for y'all nails. Whoever swear, wins, you know. Man, like I'm just saying, man. I'm saying. <laughs> That must have been crazy though too, because that's that's a whole bunch of different set of egos and attitudes that you got to deal with yeah. there. Yeah, for sure. Um, I had just moved to LA at the time I did basketball wise. I actually moved for the job, but like I'm from the south. Like everybody in the south, like we cool, like we not bougie. These Beverly Hills, LA fake girls, like I couldn't deal with it. Yeah. And then on that show, you can't put your hands on nobody because they're gonna sue you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they got their lawyers are standing by, yeah. like waiting, waiting for someone to wow. do something, right? It, it's crazy that how long that show's got gotten its run, you know. Yeah. They need to hang it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or get some younger girls because it's not giving anymore. <laughs> oh my! I mean, God. <laughs> I didn't know it was the same girls. I can't, like, I can't <laughs> speak against that. I mean, that ain't wrong. The sponsors turn into like insurance, health insurance sponsors. By the time the latest season, uh -uh. if it's the same girls, I was like, yo, that's like <laughs> well, the whole decade, they bro. Need, it's like it's like she said, they need new blood. It yeah. needs to yeah, be like right. revamped, and if they're gonna continue doing it, and it, again, it's the, it's like the same sort of storylines, and then the same setup for like, oh, we're gonna kumbaya moment, and then it all turns to chaos. <laughs> and they do this in all those type of shows where it's like people that are in a circle, like we were talking about. There's a couple that don't get along. It'd be cool if like it, they always gotta have that component. You could watch even like. Let's just say the the housewives of Beverly Hills or this one or that one. It's all that same component. It's a True. bunch of people that they kick it, but they don't really get along. But that's that's the whole explosive part of it is they're all having a dinner and they're getting along until one pops off. Thank and then, you. Uh, Thank you. Yo. It's over. The good the the great the great night turns into the great fight. Do you guys watch this stuff? Because I I never like. Do y'all watch By reality TV? <laughs> Like, yeah. Some of it, some like, of it. I don't know. Any time I've seen this show, like because it doesn't, or any, or any kind of these these type of shows, besides the one I voluntarily watched last time, which was the Real World. I'm like, I've it's been because it, I've been there with somebody else, and I'm like, yeah, I gotta like watch it. Like, thankfully, my girlfriend doesn't like watching these kind of shows, but it's like I, I can see if she liked it, I'd be like, oh man, I gotta I gotta sit here and watch this. You know what I mean? Like, but I don't I, know. If, I, I've never really given it a chance, to be honest. Like, it's not going to be appealable to me, but I have tuned in and I was like, yo, these girls fight. This is like way more attending the WBA. <laughs> what, what were you going to say, Doobie? I was going to say, I just say, I just think um, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm telling on myself, I like the drama. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe it's because me being, my, you know, with my lady is just that 
I like the drama, man. I don't know. It's just the drama's kind of addicting. Okay, but- it, it, uh, obviously, you know, but I'll tell you what, they all got a template, right? So, like, if you're watching the reality show of the food cook-off shows, there's three... But nobody th- fights in... Hold on. I'm just saying, <laughs> there's there's a, a, a pretty much a chemistry, or not a chemistry, there's a... There's a template for all of them, right? So, like, you do the food challenging shows, the reality shows, right? It's three judges, three competitors. They're all doing the thing, and they, you know, each meal gets judged. They talk about it, and then one gets eliminated. That's, like, in every food show, yeah. every baking show. But that's a template that works because people want to watch it. Like, they want to watch, they want to celebrate the winner, but they want to watch the people get kicked the hell out of there, right? And so with with stuff like basketball wives and the the real uh, housewives of whatever, it's it's that template. Like it's it's all like um, women that are like socialites, big in some big in some circles, some trying to come up, and they're all trying to get along, but they don't really get along. And it's basically the ratings come from. The conflicts at the table, or the husband's cheating. That too, because that's another that's another big thing that they wait for. You know what'll be fire though if somebody threw 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 some hands at Master Chef. Now that I think about it, when you said the food <laughs> things, like somebody swung on on you know Chef Gordon Ramsay. And, yo, people would tune in and be like, yo, you just see the clip. And they should he, show stuff like that. I mean, because he, he he says some stuff where I'm like, oh yeah, somebody got in my face like that and called me a maggot. Uh, you know, like, 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 uh, like, like, uh, like, somebody did try to pop off on him one time, and he was like, "Let's go." <laughs> Some of those dudes are big too, man. Like, oh, like those dudes that know how to cook meat. You know, like, it's, it's like <laughs> guys that know how to cook meat. Guys, that yeah, know how those, to cook, those dudes. Plenty. Oh, I mean, my. you remember? Yeah. I cook meat. I'm short of shit. Okay, but yeah, dude. But, <laughs> there you go. You know, it's, it's like, but that's not like your oh, thing, bro. Got <laughs> got me. Here, here, pass this down to Cali Blaze. Like, <laughs> I forgot. Like, remember Dustin? He used to be big, and then it's like he sold us because, like, now he's like. Yeah, they already know I know how to cook. I don't need to be the big barbecue brisket guy. Right, right. So now it's just small Bart's cooking for us. Oh, man. oh big shout out. We love Bart's. Yeah. yeah. Dog. Oh, man. You guys are the best. He showed up. He looked like a snowboarder today, bro. I was like, damn, hitting them slopes, huh? I, th- I thought he was doing skis. I thought he was on the slope. I, could, I was like, yo, if he has Yeezys on, he's, he's late. He's officially late. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, could, I could see that like basketball wise was kind of bitter for you. Yeah, I, like I just, it was too bougie for me. Like, it was, they were too bougie for me. Yeah. You, you still talk to anybody from there? Um, Just on social media. Like, I'm not friends with any of them, but like, we comment on each other's social media sometimes. Oh, that's, that's the real, that's where the real beefs happen right there. When somebody <laughs> goes at somebody on Twitter, <gasps> then it's on. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I would imagine you, you've probably had a couple, huh? Yeah. Like, I love Twitter. I talk all my shit on Twitter. I mean, that's what it's oh. there for. There it is. There oh, it is. shit. Oh, oh that's, that's <laughs> Number two. Pass it on, Dad, and I'll give you a double shot. It's all. Bring it. Or you want to do <laughs> well, it. You, here, it's your cups right here. Yeah. The, yeah, the pass. Of, the oh, wait. Pass. I asked in that. New cup. Oh, there you go. Yeah, here you go. Good. Yeah. They're right here. Yeah. Thank you. Boom. Yeah, you did it back to back. It's like a kind of way to catch up. Yeah, that's a good way to catch up for sure. Well, um, but you're doing some new stuff right now, right? Yes. Tell us about that. Um, I have moved past reality TV and now I'm executive producing. Um, I just executive produced a show called The Real Side Chicks of LA. <laughs> I think, damn, E Zone, that's heavy. Uh, it's a double. She cursed twice. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying you put it to the rim, Pop Pop. Oh, oh, yeah. Yo, that's <laughs> a- I hate you. You did it on purpose. <laughs> oh man, you fum- you fumbling around over here, Ezo. Oh, <laughs> What's going no. on over here? <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. He set you know. up. He set you up. You don't know that second. That was- I- I'll find that cap after. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about the cap. But you got a napkin? Or I can just use this. I don't care. Aton, give us your shirt. <laughs> Your shirt is needed, Aton. Um, but <laughs> the real side chicks of LA. Um, just the title of that alone, I think raw. It, it's gonna pop off. That's raw. How did how did that idea come up? Um, the original side chicks of uh, side chicks producer. He's from Charlotte. Um, 
he was trying to shop the show around to different networks and uh this network called it's like a fubu it's called fubu it's a streaming platform from the clothing line fubu from back in the days right um they have a streaming platform now and they were interested in the show and um the uh i guess the owner of the network was like you guys needed a female executive producer and like due to my reality tv history he thought i would be perfect so he reached out and he was just like hey we want you on this project like are you interested and i was like yeah how, how was it filming that show? It was crazy. Like, those girls are crazy. They're a bunch of, like, OnlyFans girls. And um, none of them liked each other. They were sleeping with each other's guys. Oh, man. One, one of the girls got one of the other girls' Instagram hacked and taken down for, like, three months. She didn't make any money off of it. It was a mess. And then some of the girls pulled up to another girl's house, like, apartment trying to, like, fight her. It was a lot. I was like, yeah. I'll never do this again. Yeah, OnlyFans girls. Wow. Crazy. So you only hosted it that one season? <laughs> yeah, the season airs in January. So it we just we just wrapped in um in November. It's, so so it's, it was that was a lot. It was crazy. Wow. I'm yeah. still watching that. Yeah. <laughs> the girls are hot though, just saying. Oh, I'm so watching. That. So so were there so obviously there were hot girl fights. Yes. It was it was so crazy. Like I just can't believe it. Because I've always been on the talent side. I come and just do me. But like when you have to deal on the back end when you're dealing with like ten thousand dollars in damages and all that stuff coming out of the budget, it's like I Why? like Girls being three hours late when we're paying the camera crew, like oh man, two thousand a day, like that's not pro. It's crazy. Was was there any girls on there that you know you thought could give you the smoke? No, no one can beat me up. No, I I'm zero. Wait, I'm I'm ten for wait. What is how do you is it ten for ten or zero for ten? Ten what, for, what, ten what and is, and oh. Ten and no. Ten and no. I'm undefeated. Undefeated. <laughs> yeah, I never, I never got my, I never got beat up. I just cursed, so I'm gonna who, do it. Who did? I did. He did. Oh. No, I did. He I heard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. I was, I was gonna try to let that slide, like her third one, but you know, I, I'll, I'll, I'll do this. One. <laughs> <laughs> he's, gonna, he's gonna take it. <laughs> so you, were, you weren't, you weren't intimidated in, with, with any of them chicks, no. as crazy as they might have been. No, like I've fought like men before. So, Damn. like, I'm not, like, I feel like once I'm in that mode, I black out, and it's just, like, I'm just swinging. Do you train, or do you just got the natural, abil natural ability to whoop ass? I think it's natural. Shot. <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll take it. I mean, why not? I don't think that's technical. What? Like ass? Said that, yeah. No, that's clean. I'm just going to take <laughs> like it. Like you said that, yeah. High five on that one, yeah. Strong. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, have you ever thought about training, though? Um, With as many fights as you've gotten into? I actually I'm have. One it. of my ex-boyfriends is a boxer. Oh, so God. whenever he was training, like, I would kind of work out with him a little bit. And I was like, maybe I could do this professionally. But, like, I'm still a girl at the end of the day. Like, I don't, I can't be walking around with no black eyes and stuff that they'd be walking around with. You didn't want that part. Yeah. Mm-mm. No. Because you never know. Because, I mean, every dog has its day. <laughs> but he, so. he he taught you how to throw some throw some punches. A one, two, and a three. <laughs> oh, nice little combo pack. A little combo. Combo packs are good. Those are the essential pieces to piece in somebody the hell up. You know what I mean? <laughs> showed up, I showed up back on set, started knocking, started knocking chicks out. He also told me like where to hit them to make sure like they get knocked out. It's like somewhere over here. The button. Yeah, he taught me the button. The that part. Oh, oh yeah. man, when you when you find the button, man, whew. Oh, that person will remember that for the rest of their life. It don't matter how bad they are. They maybe knocked out like 20 people and you caught them on the right one they remember you like they wish they had that one back but and if they were to get it back that's all they would be thinking about <laughs> thank you B. <laughs> that, that, i've never heard it described like that but that's true yeah you're right. it's real it's real yeah if someone knocks you out you may want vengeance you know for the rest of your life but the day you you come up against that person again you're gonna remember that he, they pressed, they pushed that button on you. Especially how easily people, like people, are accessible. Man, people are gonna fucking obsess over it. Over. Oh, huh, hello. Now, fuck is good. We're over. Yeah. Oh, I like. Over. All right. I, cool. I whisper. We're past the thirty. We're past the thirty mark. So you could feel free to say whatever the what fuck. What the, the fuck? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whatever the fuck. However the fuck. <laughs> right. Oh gosh. And we're back. <laughs> Shit. Awesome. And we do not owe. How do men get into fights and then are friends the next day? They don't. Easy. Oh, no. When you're younger? <laughs> yeah, when, when you're younger. Oh, when, when you're young, younger. Yeah, yeah. Not as an if adult. If your friends are ready. Right. Oh, if your friends yeah, are ready. Yeah. yeah. But sometimes, sometimes you might get into a fight with someone 
and then like respect them after because it was a pretty clean fucking fight. Right. Right. And you might be friends after that, and you might because you might know like, okay, I got somebody who's down. This is this is my yeah, homie right here. And it all depends on what that fight started because of. Because mm. men will fight just because they disagreed and started talking too loud. Somebody that called them a bitch. Yeah, yeah, and that fight you make up from. If, if it's your, over a girl, forget it. If your it. boy <laughs> slept with your girl, or did, you're whooping his ass and it's over. Yeah, that, like, that friendship it. is it's over. Done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it, the, the fight over the chick is done. nobody's friend. You don't recover after that, no. There's just nothing but bitterness after mm -hmm. that. But, like, you know, if it was a trivial... Right. Petty ass fight, which guy friends be doing for real. But Especially if, like if it was a real fight, like even over some petty shit, and what if you got knocked out? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That my point is, if you get knocked out, you'll never forget that, and you won't truly be friends the way you were before, because mm. there'll always be that resentment, like, oh, he got me in front of the homies. Hell no. And you'll always, in the back of your mind, try to think like, I'm gonna get that back. But if you're supposedly real friends, you're not supposed to think this. Nah. It's supposed to be, you know, water under the bridge. Dang. You're over it. Yeah, civilized. You know, I mean. But but in the hood, it, it you know, it, but we're from that. A man's and, ego yeah. and pride are a motherfucker. It'll <laughs> get him in more trouble than he was in in the first fucking place. Well, he's got a lot, a lot of time to think, bro. After you get knocked out. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. What what I could have <laughs> and should have done. You know what I mean? All the would haves and could haves. And, you know, and yeah, that'll just eat your ass up. You gotta sort of let it go, but it's hard. Dude, especially now, man, if somebody gets that on video and it goes viral or something like that, or like it just goes on the internet. It lives forever. Like, it, like before, you know, you'd have the, the, the thing, it's like, hey, you could just transfer to another school, it's done with, but it's like, Yo, like now that shit makes it on the internet. People are, and, and it happens to go viral. That's it, dude. Like, you, you, it's out there. You're never gonna forget that shit. Especially like if you're one of those people that like you, you're easily like identifiable, and like you got like a mole on your face or some shit. It's like, yup, you're the guy that got knocked out in the video. I mean, I don't know how the mole was relevant to it, but I, I get it. Because well, everybody's looking at it, they know how to tell somebody's face, but like that's the dude right there. <laughs> yeah, well, I hear you. People do regular shit. You can run into that person that got knocked out in the video of Rouse, and if they're easily identifiable, like you got to yeah, no, face, I get what you're saying. It'd be Something like, that marks a person that like you know them, like right. It'd be like, like you're you him, right? That's you. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Wow, interesting. <laughs> it's an interesting outlook, but it's real. Yeah. It's real, yeah. It's it's totally real. Fucking linger, dude. <laughs> yeah, no. I would imagine that the energy that it took to like get through that season of that type of shit. Cause I mean that's that's a show meant for drama. Yeah. Like, I mean, just the title alone. Side chicks of side chicks of I LA. I can't imagine the the re, real great side <laughs> chicks of LA. Not <laughs> that's gonna be real drama. Has ever like, been like, real drama. real drama? Anything like a super scandal? Like like you know, especially with those chicks sleeping there. Like other dudes were like, so hey, this girl got HPV, and they're like, damn, this is like. You know, I'm just saying that's a real possibility. When we're you, not every four people well, have, right. have stuff. Oh, yeah. Right, no, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there weren't any scandals like that, but there's one of the girls on this season that like have like slept with some really like a lister Are they, guys. is she exposing wow. them on the show um she's not exposing them but she's oh. but Get it it's not us. it's not hard to know who she's talking about uh so let she it be basically known. is let she it be was known. at the crypto center why does she go to a basketball game it's like you know why dude. Oh, there's probably there, there's probably certain uh, motherfuckers uh, shitting themselves right now like oh, oh man. man no 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 i don't say that it's not you no i'm just i'm not me not me i'm just saying hey bro when i like when i was doing lift out of college bro and i remember i would pick up people in the morning you know i live by lamert Le Le park bro and I remember, like, there was you know, a couple occasions that I would pick up this one dude that played for the Cleveland Cav uh, Cavaliers, bro, and he would just go see these chicks out here in the hood, and I'm just like, yo. Aww. Every time he came out here to practice for, like, friendly games, and, I'm, and you know, I got to know dude. He was cool and stuff, but I'm just like, this has got to be, like, just like an L.A. thing, and it's Aww. like, you're just out here, you know, you just, shit's going on. It's like an A-lister, and then you're just like, yo, man, you know where you're at right now? It's like, he just, Yeah, if you're not from here, you got to be careful where you get taken to. Up. No, I'm so saying. what's with the hood girls? Because I don't be getting it. Like I will never date a nigga. Can I say that? You yeah. I will never. <laughs> I will never date another nigga from LA. Like they, it, they different. It's you know. Like it, why? Like why wouldn't you want to like make your life better? Like why are you still like dating the bitches in the hood? I don't get it. Yeah. Well, he oh. you, he came from Cleveland to yeah. find a, a, a hood chick. Why? <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. Oh you know why. God. 
uh, you know, who knows? You know, people make decisions that that a lot of us can't understand most of the time, and 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 that's that's what makes for the TV that people watch. That sort of maybe those heard sort of the, those sort of decisions that make the drama. He heard the Merritt Park, you know, on a song, and he was like, "Yo, I'm and, up for but, I, but I gotta tell you, out, but I'm I gotta tell you, like yeah. basket, basketball players, they come from different different uh, <laughs> cities. I mean, if you're not Lakers or Clippers, a lot of these dudes get approached by by homies from the hood, like, "Hey, if you want to roll through here, you gotta talk to us first. And most of the time, they'll they'll introduce them to to the places they can go and not go. And the people they can like, you know, associate with and all that, and that's how they end up in places like this. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, again, you're from Cleveland, and an LA dude approaches you and be like, "Hey, you want to kick it here? Like, safe? You got to roll with us and all that. The check in, if you will. Got it. And that's how you find homies like in places where you think, "What are you doing here? Fine. Like stuff like that, because it happens." Yeah, the check-in is real. LA's the only city that's like that. I don't understand it. People don't check yeah. in in New York? No. Mm, not really. Atlanta, no. I think I think when you got a like a <clears throat> I think when you when when you're a city that's got a lot of gangs like let's let's just say Chicago and here that might in in maybe Michigan, like Detroit or whatever. You might have a check-in system there, but not not everywhere is like that. You can go there and be just kicking it. But again, when you find these dudes here in LA in the hood, it's usually because of that. How do you know if you're cool enough to check in? Like, <laughs> you you'll, know? you'll know who to check in well, with. Listen, I, I, I think they get a hold of you. In, 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 the 50s, <laughs> you know? in the 50s, people used to belong to organizations and they didn't have internet or anything to communicate. They would send people. And when they send people, they would send them with what's called the traveling letter. And the traveling letter is your check-in. Mm. So it would tell the company that you were there to just work for them and just do what you had to do. But then as um, time progressed and you went into the revolutionary 60s and then the 70s and the 80s, people had their, corporations had their own different ways of checking in. Mm. And then it became street and then it went into the hood and then they just went in on it. And so that's how you know, checking in is checking in. And even pilots, when they go over, you know, uh, you know, sky space and stuff like that, they always have to identify themselves and stuff like that. But for L.A. to do to be that primitive, to, you know, be primate like that. Yeah, it's crazy. Isn't how it? do you know if you're cool mm. enough? Like, like <clears throat> there is like a million celebrities, artists like A, B, C, D, E, F, G yeah. and then influencers. Like, how do you know, like, okay, I'm this person, I need to check in. Or I'm like, no one knows me, like, I'm, or I'm not that big, like, I need to check in. Like, how do you know? I think when when you're high profile and you know you are, when you think you are, that's one thing. When you know you are, that's a whole other, mm -hmm. right? The people who think they are, they don't necessarily got to check in because no one will be, like, approaching them like, hey, how come you didn't check in with us? Because mm -hmm. they don't know them, like, who? All right, they might be on the rise, but we don't know who they are. But like people that they know absolutely 100%, if they're going in places where they're high risk and, and you know, it's someone's neighborhood or, you know, these guys' hood or those guys' hood, whatever, and you're high profile and you just came in like you owned it, yeah, that's, those are the, those are the cats that they would be expecting to check in. Like, mm -hmm. hey, you should have. Hit hit someone from our you know crew up before you came down here or whatever you know what I mean yeah. to, and it's not even it's on on some real shit it's not even really something you need to do but like these guys that are new out here and they don't know any better they think they have to mm -hmm. and so they do it and then they they <laughs> spread more of that shit and be like whenever their boys are coming in hey man when you come out here man you got to check in remember that because you know I. I'll tell you who to you know tap in with over here, and and it gets it gets perpetuated like that. But it, man, you don't got to do all that. Just to uh, piggyback on what he said, they want to feel important, mm. and that's what it's about feeling that important. Too. And you know, <laughs> you know, it, it's it's nice to feel important, but it's more important to be nice, and that's what it's about. It you depends know on the yeah. circles you want to run in, right? If you're just doing everyday shit that doesn't involve any hood life you ain't got to check into nothing but if you're trying to hang out with 
with cats that run in those particular circles, that's when it's. But they're like, oh, you would be, you would have been like the people that get come here and get robbed. They're like, oh, you would have been safe if you checked in. Or they were the talking like, about what's come? his name? I'm sorry, cutting. Who is it? We just got it. PMB. Yeah, at Roscoe's, you know, they were talking about, oh, he didn't check yeah. in so and so. Man, my man's eating. Really, he dick. shouldn't have to. That's right. He's eating with his. He his shouldn't wife have and to. Child, the man like, is eating. He, come he, on, man. He shouldn't have to, but like when you come to a place that's like the wolves are around yeah. and they're ready to jack anybody in, like you got all that on. Yeah, yeah you got to yeah. watch Like if you didn't wearing. come in with someone Heartless. from there. Heartless. Yeah. They're going to they gonna come at you. Like, who's yeah, this yeah. dude in our. Yeah, Colton. He's looking like food. <laughs> You know, and that's the mentality in some of the places. Like, you shouldn't have to do that. I mean, but that's why, like, Ice T even said it, like, proper. Like, you see a lot of uh, a lot of rappers in L.A. They got jewels and all that, but they don't show up just everywhere with them, especially if they ain't got like thirty, forty homies with them strapped. Because the wolves will come and get you. Mm -hmm. And if you're from L.A., you know this, right? If you're not from L.A., you don't know this, and you'll show up somewhere that, like, the wolves be, you know? And that's sort of what happened with homie. And uh, that's the unfortunate unfortunate part about L.A. Is, is, is shit like that. But you shouldn't have to check in. But if you're not running in those circles, you don't have to. If you are, it's probably better that you do. I like how you said that, B., um, there's two types of folks, people who know the streets, who, who think they understand they know the streets, and people who just know it purely, you know what I'm saying? And there's a lot of people who think they understand the streets. You know, they don't really know the streets, they just think they understand it, yeah. Yeah. Mm. The understanding is expensive, though. Well, I, like I <laughs> no said, sense. knowledge, wisdom, bring forth understanding. So I had to, yeah, you got to put that out there. Yeah, definitely be. Yeah. That's Jason X talking right there. Well, I remember <laughs> Jason X uh, before Son Doobie. Oh, uh, I know. I miss Jason X. <laughs> oh, like do I you? Say, I, know. Oh, I don't know if you do. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Jason X couldn't smoke that weed you smoking right there, no, Poppy. He's a different <laughs> person, yeah. Mm. Oh, well. Son Doobie. Yeah, so do you. So what do you? So you're you're doing a podcast now, right? Like you're done with the real side chicks, and you're knocking down a podcast now, right? Yeah, um, I'm doing a podcast called the Hollywood Group Chat. Um, the focus is um, to bring to bridge the gap between the millennials and Gen Z, and we talk about like um, relevant topics, relationships, sex, and then everything that's going on in the media. Right on. Right and on. all of my episodes have went viral every week. So. Because you're unfiltered in your conversations, obviously. Very right? that. <laughs> yeah. Boring it. Yeah. I mean, I, th I think you're known for that, so people expect that. Yeah. But I want people, I want to say the things and ask the questions that people think but don't say. What's the craziest shit you got asked so far? That I got that, asked? That you can remember on your podcast. Oh, that I asked them. <laughs> or that you asked them. Oh, yeah. okay. So um, I did an interview with a Blue Faces baby mom, not Krishan, but right. the baby mom. Um, and I asked her, I was like, hey, are you still, um, like, fucking blue face, like, raw dog? And she said, <laughs> <laughs> she said, of course I am. And, like, um, wow. like two weeks prior, uh, there was a sex tape leak of Krishan and Blueface, And Krishan had all this, like, white gunk coming out of her vagina. Oof. And, like, the, uh. the fact that the baby mom is still fucking him raw mm. is crazy. That is crazy. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> he's taking he's taking some chances. Whoa. That's nuts, man. Holy shit, dude. Oh my god, that's not <laughs> <He's laughs> god. Oh, no, shit. <laughs> okay. Okay. This Here, let me get that up honest. on the screen. This was quick. just based on word. There, there was no video evidence. Oh no, there was video evidence. It was on Twitter. Yeah. It's probably still on Twitter. Damn. I love Twitter. <laughs> The receipt. Oh, the so, receipts are real. Yeah. I'm so watching that. All right. Are you gonna watch that? I'm so watching that. I, I mean, a, you feel compelled now, huh? Well, now that you give me that big brother authority look, no, you can do what you okay. do. All right, yes, sir. I mean, that's crazy though. That's crazy, yeah. Damn. Crazy. I wouldn't. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. But she said that he's the only guy that she's ever been with. She's gay. I guess she's gay, and she said that's the only guy she's ever been with in her whole life. Oh, wow. Which is kind of cool. Yeah. Was she gay before or after? I don't know. I never asked, but she. <laughs> I that would suck. I don't know. <laughs> he kind of does look like a really you cool lesbian. It. That's insane. Like, he could play like a real cool lesbian who dresses like a dude all the way. You know, like blue face. Oh, like, shit, I could see dude. some chicks looking like him. Oh, 
Oh my god. Nah, yeah, I don't even know what that means, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm just saying, I was like, I you know, there's there's some skinny black chicks, Peace light skinned chicks that will look that. they could pull off that blue face look. I can see how like that chick is. For Halloween? Less, yeah, or, or or general. There's some chicks just, that dress like dudes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. I see some dudes that I see some chicks that have more swag than dudes. Yeah, it's like, absolutely. Oh, they be dressing way better, and I'm just like, oh, you gotta go shopping with her, you know? Yep. You ain't gotta worry about her fucking your man. She just go to the, you know, like <laughs> she has a she has a girl at home too. Will you be my stylist? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh. <laughs> so that you know that that probably wasn't the most shocking thing that you come that you came across yet. That was very shocking because everyone saw the sex tape with this white stuff coming out. So it's like, oh yeah, that is. Bro, yeah, I like guess that would. That be... You're still. <laughs> she she went straight to the pH level. <laughs> All right, I'm not. I'm, I'm. I get it. I get it. I get it. I just. Okay, I guess yeah. that that would be the cra- that that would qualify as yeah, the craziest you know, shit you're... that you could. Bolton, pull the clip up. <laughs> no, <laughs> please. Let me get on Twitter That's real quick. That's what I quick. thought. I got scared. The clip was. Twitter is off. The, were... Hey, Twitter is off the chain. Darth with Vader that runs shit. it, dude. No, no, no. I mean, just with with uh, the type of shit that the, the that you can run on Twitter right now with. Yo, but but it's intensified the, now. The every, fact that and they don't pull see, it. No, but the fact that you could see exactly what she's talking about. Okay, but that, and they don't that, pull but, it though. Yeah, but yeah. no, that, that has been there for years. Like the access to it. I but, know that. But now the, with every. Ever since he took over, there's just been an influx it's, of it's, waves of it. It's amplified yeah. like crazy right now. You go there to just see some raunchy shit, and yeah. you're just like, damn, these hoes don't care. It's like Tumblr. Yeah, like, or, I mean, you know, or Twitter, yes, yeah, it's, it's getting like that. Like the old crazy. Tumblr. I can't old even Tumblr, read yeah. Twitter. I don't even know who's talking to who. I've never had a Twitter. I look, I'm like, I, I don't even know who's talking. Like, who, It's, I, it's, it's, it's a whole lot of opinionated motherfuckers. Like Reddit, basically, <laughs> on steroids, right? Uh, people yeah. on Reddit. Are they're, they're, I love Reddit. Too. Do you Reddit's, have Reddit's people dope. out of control on Reddit? Too. I love the, the, Reddit. The cool thing about Reddit is I that there's Reddit. there's a bunch of different rooms. Yeah. It, that that it's so it's not like just one general Twitter, right? Mm-hmm. Like so you go out and whoever's following you gets it, whatever. Um, but with with Reddit, there's specific rooms. So right. like you it could you could put posts catered to certain rooms and shit like that. That's, that that's where I go say offensive stuff on. Reddit? Uh, Reddit? Yeah, because it's like I never I never liked Twitter, but Reddit <laughs> is where I go for sure. You Have see? you guys ever been on the dark web? If I can't even what? get on Twitter. <laughs> you know, I, like, I was like, I have, but she it's just a she different didn't say occasion. The deep web. She said yeah. the dark web. Yeah. But it's like different occasions. Like sometimes you go there to buy stuff. Sometimes you go there just. I told you I can't even like, get whoa. Twitter out, so I'm out on this. I, I mean, that's there. that's where all the toxic shit is at, right there. It's right? not. It's beyond toxic. Be real. You yeah. can you can find some crazy stuff. Oh, I know. There. And you're just like. <laughs> Why? Why does this exist? But yeah, it, it, it's it's crazy. But toxic is bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course we know. Like that's yeah, the shit that's available on the dark web now, man. Anything. I wouldn't Anything. be buying any drugs off, off the dark web these days. I'll tell you that much. I mean, yeah, you don't want none of that shit. Don't yeah, fuck especially these days, you don't know. It's like you could just be ordering your death. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I'm serious. You could. I mean, shit. That's what. That's why you know, we stop partying. So it's just like, man, I'm like, fuck it. You guys remember? Do. You guys remember the Silk Road that was I on was the dark on, web on tour? There's like ten yep. websites now that have like replaced that. Yeah, this the guy that ran this website. He ended up hmm. getting busted, but like this dude was like a millionaire just running this drug market off tour. Oh, wow. big time money! He was running that shit off of Starbucks internet, bro. At one point, bro. You want to know what's crazy? Is probably a, caught him. A lot of a lot of uh, bands that tour, and <gasps> they probably got like one band member that's like all fucked up. It needs to be like you know, needs to have his shit. Their their tour manager is probably that's how they find their shit in every state, unless they know someone already. Oh, I, know. I would imagine that this is how you know most of those dudes are feeding their habits. Most of those cats don't know that, bro. Right. That's like they had, this is like the most ex- accessible way to for them to get connected. Now. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. No, that's what, like so, I'm like it's a very like especially with the young artists. You trust that, and it's like, bro, if they're buying it. You don't know what you're. You don't know what. Yeah, you're over there, man. Not it's just, it's just available. That's that's the thing. You don't know what the fuck you're getting. It's just available. Are you're we taking- all thinking of the same thing? Like when we all ordered back in the past, and how we just <laughs> got through everything, and we still here. We made it, but. We're, we're okay. Well, shit wasn't we're, that cut before, or, or like it wasn't this bad before, crazy. man. Like at some I point, I went, even like five, six, like five years ago or four years ago, like man, you could 
you could you could buy coke off of some random person and like you'd be all right. Man, but... I'm talking like 20 years ago, man. No, but I'm saying, I'm speaking yeah. for myself. You know oh, what I mean? Okay. Yeah, I wasn't doing coke 20 years ago, bro. <laughs> But, <laughs> Man, if you were, you would have been an infant doing yeah. the coke. They would have been like, damn, this infant got No, nobody needs to be an infant on coke, bro. That is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it, but hilarious. no, it is. It, but it, it's, it's, only, it's only been until like recently, and I'm like, it's a lot of people that still like party out there. It's, it's wild, you know who's bro. still partying? <laughs> Neymar. Oh, yeah, I did see Oh, that. man, hey, yeah. the, the, in the World Cup, right, when uh, when Brazil got put out, Neymar's like, you know, about to be in tears and his homie, his teammate walks up to him and shoves something right up his nose that he doesn't realize they're on camera. Cocaine is a hell and of a then, drug. You know, the, the, the officials saw that and decided they're going to test this motherfucker right after they walk off the field because he had like like deposits of coke <laughs> right here, dude. It was oh the most coldest God. shit ever. Because he... He went. And, he went and gave him like a straight, like bullet, like a shot. Bullet bunk. It wasn't even. <laughs> it wasn't even like, like minced into like. Then he like straight out covered him, and then I don't. When you have that that snow effect, when it's like he's just breathing hard. He just finished the game, so like the remains just went down <laughs> on his mustache, and that's what gave it away for him. He had a what, white. Did he get Christ busted. He had a white Christmas in yeah. guitar. So hey. <laughs> he, well, <laughs> did set, he pop for it? I was looking at research up there after you showed me that video. And th there are some speculations that he did get fined, but he seems to know the people in, you know. In the, well, they're hooked up. They're that's, tapped in. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, that's one of the most tapped in players right there. He's going to get away with shit. But, like, what he didn't get away with <laughs> was not getting caught doing the coke right there on camera. Oh. <laughs> I mean. Bingo. That shit was on TV. That's how it got. <laughs> that's how it got caught out there. Like the dude walks up and shoves something that's right so up gangsta. his nose. That's exactly gangsta. Right. Man. You don't got the clip, yeah. Colton. I'm trying. I'm trying to find it. I can't find it right. Your heart. Pedro it. got it. Your heart can explode, man. At that point, when your sprint's running that fast, Pedro. If you've been running up and down for 90 minutes. Your heart just shit could blow up. Oh man, it was it was ice cold the way that he did that shit. I was like, well, you know, <laughs> and you know that this dude's the homie. Right, They're, they do many many lines together, right? He's I don't know if the other guy is not gonna get fucked with because he's, he's not the one like, who had it. He's not a superstar player right. like Neymar. But he, that's what I'm saying. He's the guy who had it because he, yeah, and, he, and yeah, he's yeah. the guy who had it. So they're like searching, but like Neymar might be like, "It's not. I don't have it. You can search my shit." <laughs> <laughs> But he yeah. might as well give dude a heads up, be like, the clip went viral, dude, flush it down the toilet. Oh, they both know that <laughs> clip went, there it goes, right here, oh, watch. Wait. All right, so here. Oh, that. Here he goes. Hey, bro, <laughs> here, take some of these. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's late. Merry Christmas. Oh, Just that was pretty good, though. That was pretty good. That was real quick, yeah. Ow, <laughs> oh, ow, oh, my God, ow. I'm screaming. <laughs> in and out, oh in and out, baby, in and out. God. I mean, <laughs> like. Across the country. What were you yeah. thinking? Yes. Just wait 30 seconds. Just wait 30. <laughs> right. Wait till you get off the exactly. fucking field. <laughs> no, they've had this plan. We're doing a bump on the field. We're doing it. Yeah, yeah we're going to do a bump. Whether we yeah. win or lose, That's bro, right. we're doing <laughs> yeah. a bump on the field in Qatar. <laughs> oh, man. Ridiculous. Gangster right there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that, that stadium's. That's a homie though, anymore. right there. That's great. That's, that, that's his homie right there. Mm -hmm. He's like there, that's there, my dog friend. right there. Yeah, take this. <laughs> have this bump and feel better. We're going to have many cokes tonight. <laughs> many cokes. <laughs> Did they announce the finalists for the for the four cup yet? Morocco and France, right? Yeah. No. Well, no. I think oh. France is going to be France and Argentina. Oh. Damn. Ooh. Because so uh, Morocco lost today. Ooh. Yeah, Morocco lost today. See Messi's uh, what's it called uh, assist yesterday? Oh yeah, ridiculous. He got a goal and an assist. Yep. But you know they they, they hold the title for number one uh, like with all the World Cups that they they've got. I think Argentina is number one or Brazil. I could be wrong. It's between them two. Between them two, May yep. and maybe France too. France. Has won a few cups. They won the last one, right? Yeah, they won the last one. They're, <laughs> they're on a roll right now. Um, I would imagine that uh, what um, Argentina would have rather have played Morocco, because that would that would have been their first run. Is like they're new to this. They don't have that culture of, you know, World Cup championship lineage. You know what I mean? They could get intimidated in the moment, but. Um, France, nah. 
they're the defending champs. They're going in with full confidence. And, um, you know, like you should with any endeavor. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Go in with confidence. Like, I'm going to fuck this shit up. Uh, look, we got a mix tomorrow. Make sure you check it out. All right. It's on Twitch. B underscore real TV is the place. Um, psych, well, I don't know if Psycho Leezy's going to be in, but I will definitely be popping it off. So uh, make sure you join us and all that. And if you haven't smashed that like yet, smash it now. Do us the favor. And if you ain't subscribing, subscribe. And click the all notification bell and share this shit out. All right. We are here with our special guest, Megan James, up in the building. And Sun, Sun Doobie is also with us. Yeah. He's not so special. Not as special as Megan. You know hey. what I'm saying? He's love Megan. He's he's special in a special way. Oh, leave me alone. A word. And we also guys, they're ready to get on me, Megan. You see how they are. We also got Callie Blaze. What up, what up? And he's on. <clears throat> what up, everybody? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's 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 like that, and that's the way it is. We're about to um, you know, get into this. So be real. What? You done with your shopping yet? You asked me that earlier. And that wasn't yeah. on air. What? It wasn't on air. Wasn't it? <laughs> no, it was not. It right was, before. Yeah, it was right before. It was right before. All right. And you you, you just laugh. Like, you, you, just, you knew the answer then, and you know the answer now. You know why? Because I went to the mall to, like, pick something up. Yeah. And I saw, like, I, like you could just tell the calm before the fucking storm. Like, How many days before Christmas do you do your shopping? I already did most of it online. Yeah, well, that's not the question. <laughs> mm. Mm, t before, like, like where I'm like rushing it. You said before. I want to say like, I, like how a, many days? A week and a half. Okay, Cali Blaze. What? How many days? What? Do you shop before Christmas? <laughs> He's like, my girl shops for herself. I, I don't no, know. <laughs> right before, like your last right, minute. Definitely last. Minute. How about you, Meg? Twenty third. That, there you go, 23rd, something like that. Right. Okay, so you, Couple that days. you do like just three days? You, go, you go to the store, you're the one that's like... There's not that I, many young people left. How, how about you, Doobie? Family. I just do Amazon and eBay, B, and I do it, yeah, like a week before Christmas. That's but, it. Uh, yeah, there's been have. times that I was ahead of the game, and there's been times that I had to do it like on the 23rd, yeah. okay. 20, 24th, oh, 24th. Yeah, 24th. Yeah, yeah. Hey, normal. if you go to the mall, dude, let me go with you, dude. I want to know what that's like. <laughs> 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 like well, like, I'll, you know, I'll just walk with my head down and not make any eye contact, and I'll get in, you know, smooth. But, that like, too. if I start looking at people and I'm looking all around, <laughs> hey, yeah. dude, I remember one Christmas we went, like, before we knew better. There was better malls than this, but we were sure. young and stupid. Yeah. We went to the Montebello Mall, right? The Citadel? No, the Montebello Mall. Right. The Citadel's, you know, something different. But the Montebello Mall, we went there, and my God, we got kicked, kicked the fuck out in minutes because, like, when people saw that we were there and... You know, who knew? Like, you don't, like, you got your homies and they're wearing their fucking jackets with the band name or the group name on it. And that's like a billboard for motherfuckers. And so, like, when people see that and then they see you in the middle of that, they start getting excited. So before you know it, boom, it's a swell of people. And I realized in that moment, okay, I cannot go shopping with my homies anymore. I can't be wearing a billboard it's at that. Yeah, it's too much. And I'm going to have to, like, you know, I'm going to have to come in, like, at different times. Like, so during the week when motherfuckers are working, that's when, I, you know, I would have to go. But I don't do that shit no more. So, yeah, no, I'm not shopping. Or maybe I am, but I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna let you know that, so you ain't looking for me. Anyway, it's time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a bunch of shot. submissions in today. First one's up of the day. We got a little Bart's Barbecue up in here with a little tacos from yesterday on the new griddle. Don't you mean Monday? No, this is a... Uh, no, yesterday, Taco Tuesday. This is for, for Taco Tuesday. Awesome. This is for 
you know, taco yesterday. Man. Excellent. Thanks for returning my lighter, Dustin. <laughs> I'll tell you, there was a whole lot of food here yesterday. Awesome. Um, Steph Tone the Strong brought in some pollo loco. There was leftover tacos from Taco Tuesday that Dustin uh, popped off. Um, and then Javi Lopez brought in Jack of the Box tacos. Good. There was a oh whole lot of God. whole lot of stuff. Steph Tone always comes loaded. Yes. Yo, Steph Tone that man stay on team. loaded. Oh, he came with that pollo loco um, oh, splash, oh, dude. Knows. He knows how to do it. Yes, he do. <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> And we got Bart's Barbecue up in here with the tri-tipped double Wagyu smash burger. He's calling it the E-Zone Special the e tomorrow at the Lomita Ale House. The Hell lo yeah. Lomita? Lomita. Lomita. You can call it Lomita. 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 You can't call it the E-Zone Special if I haven't ate it, bro. Yeah. Lomita. What the fuck? Okay, all right. Hey. Lomita. No, that looks pretty good. It does. It looks yeah. great. It looks awesome. Shout out to Bart's Barbecue. Shout out to Bart's. Shout out to Bart's. Oh, my gosh. Awesome. That food is insane. I mean, I, I, I eat a stuff and my skin turns like an inch thicker the next morning <laughs> and tingling. So, yeah, Bart. Ting-a-ling-a-ling. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> we got Callie Blaze up in here with a little bread pudding. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Some walnuts, some chocolate bring chip. It. You made that? Hell yeah. And you didn't oh, bring it in? Yeah, Not enough. What kind of fuck I got to bring the whole loaves, man. Oh, my God. How about Friday? All right. Done. Bring We're going to hold you to that. Done God deal. Difference. By the Somebody way. just got to get ice cream. Is, ice cream it, local. Is, is Friday not ugly sweater? Right? Uh, Hello. Yeah. Uh, look, we're going to take a short break real quick, and we're going to come back with the rest of the submissions. Aight. Real.tv. Elementary school, Cypress Hill, always replay. This is Daniel, longtime fan from Southgate. I've been a fan of um, Be Real for, for a long time. I mean, I'm only 26, but you know, maybe 90s hip hop is you know, just a shit. TV. We are back. It's the Dr. Green Thumb Show. Let's get back into submissions. All right. Next for submissions up in here. We got this sent in from Pedro. It looks like Nintendo World is coming to Universal Studios. I just got the email yesterday. Ooh. And yes, it is opening up February 12th, I think. But our February 2nd, um, 2023. I will be there for sure. I'm there, man. So... Awesome. I'm gonna go to the American one before I go to the Japanese one, so I'll be, I'm excited. Nope. Hey, be real, you should go, dude. To what? I could see be real at Nintendo World. I could do that. At Universal Studios, it's about to open up. You should just go. Let's, let's go. Edibles, come on. And then we just walk. All right, dude. But I'm, I'm gonna hit Mario Kart. No, I'm fuck edibles. Let's let's do some uh, do some, some moderation dose. I'm doses. gonna try to hit him up Ooh. on your behalf. Some Yo, mo some moderation dose. Yeah. Do they have? I'm macro? down with that. I'm not gonna macro. I'm gonna I'll mod dose, but I'm not gonna <laughs> match. I'm not gonna Disneyland dose. I'll promise you guys that. I'll, Ooh, all right, cool. Wow. All right. That, that is the perfect place to do mushrooms. You get see all these giant mushrooms around. Like, yeah, be really? cool yeah. to see everything. Yeah. Well, they have Mario Kart. Real quick, it's Mario want, Kart. Mario Kart. Mario. Real quick, we want to thank <laughs> Megan James for stopping by. She had to roll out. She's got another interview, but uh, she said to say thank you, and she had fun. And salute to her. 
make sure you check uh you check out the show when it comes out the real side chicks of la that's crazy and it, uh, it, it check out her podcast oh, people are going saying, down I'm on that one. that one you know oh, that. that she looks like she can fight you know what the funny part is scrappity dude yeah, like she looks like she got hands bro like i ain't gonna lie like she said though people are gonna not say things but they're gonna insinuate enough well, you'll know who it is. They're gonna people, sweat. What well, they're gonna sweat bullets people, when the show comes out. Go, people are going down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The oh, trickle yeah, yeah. is real. <laughs> yep. All right, next. All right, let's see up in here. Next up in here, we got this sent in right after Pedro brought up that one submission. We got Dennis up in here saying, "Have you guys heard of the tree pooper?" The crap strap. Yeah, it's terrible. What? Uh, let's call in Pedro. Pedro, <laughs> oh, come yeah. uh, come to the table and like as <laughs> soon as you can and take a look at this. Yo. Hey, Pedro, you got to sit in, bro. Come on, Pedro. It's so 4 o'clock. Paper. Toilet paper. So if you don't have your truck, it looks like you just connect this to a tree or something. Yeah, it's like, like a swing. <laughs> it's like a swing. Imagine, uh, you know, you swing and shit at the same time. The swing What if shit. you have one of those explosive shits <laughs> that they oh. oh, my God. You're leaving it like a splatter. You're, you're it's getting on your pants. It's getting oh. on your, the back of your shoes. Your back of your chocolate your, rain. Back, the back of your calves. Come on, <laughs> Pedro. That chocolate the, rain. Ch the champ is in the building. The true champion. Word. Here, champion. You deserve a ten milli. There you go. Right By the there. way, Dro, I want you to know something. See what your, the funny boy thinks he did over here. Rolled me pink joints. Oh yeah. You know what that is, right? That's a pink slip for him. He's fired. So <laughs> He's fired. now on, All right. no more free weed for Aton. He don't get a free joint. <laughs> oh, oh, you, my friend, oh, be getting grams per day to smoke. Oh, he is he a fit. This is your red card, buddy. Fired. Oh, that, he, got a, he got a red card today. Oh, fired. God. Well, let's call it a pink card. He got a rolling yeah. red card. Yeah. All right. A pink card. Oh, pink my God. card. Stupid Ton. Yeah. All Dumb right, ton. next. And we got Zach up in here saying he's chilling at the Garden of Gods with his older brother, <laughs> saying shout out to him. Oh. Word up, I... Hey, this oh, reminds so me. Well, actually, it doesn't. But <laughs> next, <laughs> <laughs> back to the back to the tree thing. It looked it looked uh, a lot more comfortable than popping the squat. I'll tell you that. Yeah, yeah, it does. It looks way more comfortable. <laughs> I still wouldn't do it, but fuck it. No fucking way. Pink ton. Hey, no, I, I was watching. You you guys ever watched the Great Christmas Light Fight? No, no. Okay, dude. it's what basically that? it's basically a show based on uh, folks that like compete, um, in having the best um lit. Is it on Peacock? Um, no, I think it's ABC. Um, but you know, it's who has the best lit house for Christmas, and people go out like people put up over like. 80,000 to 100,000 lights. This is just one of them right here. On the candy cane lanes. Yeah. Be, yeah, you're right. No. Be, be, be. Is your house decorated? No, yeah. hell no. Mm -hmm. not, not even like one little light? No, not like that. this. No, there's lights. <laughs> oh, okay. There's I was going to say it like, dude. There's <laughs> lights, but not like that. And I forgot what my point was, but like. <laughs> they go all out? They go all the fuck out, dude. It's crazy. Where was this at? Well, it's all over the country. Oh. So they and you know, like they submit their houses to this this show. B, it looks like the North Pole. Yeah, well, it it just looks like it depends North on the design because everybody has a different design. Oh, that the motif, right? Yeah, the motif, the motif for, for the use for lack of a use of a big word. Yeah, the motif <laughs> is yeah. it. Uh. And look, like you get you, things like this. I forgot the point I was making, but like the Great Christmas Life Fight is on. <laughs> Make sure you check it out. Your yeah. weed works, dude. The weed works. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do people throw down, or it's just fights, but no real fights? No, there's no fights. Oh, uh, it's just it's... who creates the, the the better visual on their house. Like, oh, there's okay. some incredible shit going on in, with some folks. Like, some people using, like, crazy technology and 3D printers to create oh, wow. some of their visuals, and other people using scrap shit and just, like, you know, being able to, like, Make incredible stuff. Yeah, you know. Lights go down. Yeah. In, um, <laughs> What's in the light bill though? <laughs> Come on, that's, that's the question. That's the expensive. real question, <laughs> bro. Like, well, if I, you're using LED lights, it's not that expensive. B. If you're using the traditional lights, yeah, then. But still, any lights by the but that volume, that's a lot of electricity, bro. Like, so you could be Instagram famous. Nah, I'm good, dude. <laughs> if you see the kind of work these motherfuckers I, put in to put up those lights, they, they're not giving a shit. Look at this. Look at They're not caring a fuck about a, a bill. 
stage designers. Only stage and and E Zone. A lot of these folks live in places where yeah. their power bills aren't like the way that they would be in California. Ooh. Straight up. And the way we get charged for everything. And they're ta- they're probably in a different tax bracket. Let's be real. That too. Yeah, like no, nah, but there's some folks that they they don't they they're not perceived to have a lot of money. There's some of them without a lot of money create like really dope visuals. All the birds in the trees. Oh yeah. <laughs> they're all like no. Anyway, let's keep it moving because I forgot what my point was. It was something about that last post, but now I don't remember. It, so God damn it. Stoner how, shit. How much you like Christmas lights? I don't. Them up. <laughs> I do. No, 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 no. You know what? It, it, it was in terms right? of it was in. You know what? It was related to the microdosing, the moderation dose. All right. Shit, and going to um Universal and seeing that whole thing. Hell like yeah. the great Christmas light fight. If you were on some moderation doses and you were, you know, checking out these type of houses oh, that's dope. you would totally oh, that's dope. it would be yeah, like yeah, great yeah. experience yeah and last thing uh too uh i've always been going to the recently they haven't had it because of covid but this is the first year it's going to be back since covid it's a uh, candy cane lane that's uh in segundo i don't know if you guys i know there's yeah. some different areas in segundo, yeah but the one in el segundo specifically is just a cul-de-sac and all the houses in the cul-de-sac participate so it's, it's it's pretty crazy, and you actually walk walk around it because it's it's blocked. It's a, literally a tradition to keep the street blocked off, and just <coughs> families walking all throughout. And you got people with big lawns, just set up uh, blankets and uh and chairs and canned out hot chocolate, and have like a giant movie projector where you could just like sit down and watch Christmas movies. Oh, that's it's pretty dope. So for sure, if you're like on some shrooms or something. As, mm. This is really dope. Word up. If Sp- the- speaking of speaking of big lawns, we want to say what's up to Godfather because he's oh. in the room. Oh wow, Godfather, Godfather, word up. Big GF, what up? Yes, he's, he's gonna have hip surgery Monday, so he yep. can't he can't oh. smoke any weed uh, for it's... this week. So we want to send him a bunch of positive vibes, positive energies, and say you can do it. Yeah, man, I was about to I was about to start going hard on GF, like bro. You Battle dissed down. us. You haven't come back. <laughs> Left us here. Oh. We haven't seen you. I think you just did it anyway. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah, I know, but I was going to really go in. You know what I mean? But then, like, I was like, I hope, Man. I just want to say, I hope you're, uh, you know, it all goes well, bro. I didn't know you were going to have hips. It's going to go well. Of yeah. course it will. Yeah. Fuck and hoping we know it's yeah. going to go well. And they got so, the, it's crazy how much better the procedures got. Like, back in the days, like, the recovery time was insane. And now the recovery on that is quicker than knees. Wow. I want to tell you Amazing. something. Yeah. I want to tell you something. Something that Send Dog's mother, rest in peace, told me when I was very young. And this has stood with me my whole life. And this is why I'm sitting in this chair to this day. Hope for nothing. Have faith. Know it. Know it. Yeah. Manifest it by saying, I know it's going to be good. And this is, you know, for GF and anybody else. Know it. Don't hope. Hope ain't nothing. What up? I mean, hope is something, but it's not like knowing. It's not like faith. So have faith. Know it, God damn it. Just like, you know, when I get on the mic, I don't hope I'm the best rapper on stage. Know it. I know I'm the best motherfucker on stage. Better. And Better. When I'm in the studio, I don't hope I could deliver this verse. I know I'm going to deliver this verse. When I smoke this weed, I don't hope I get high. <laughs> I'm high as fuck. And smoke. Yeah. Great thought for Senator. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Pedro. And you know what the other thing, the other key element is the work. You know, a lot of people always hoping and praying. Those two things without the work are pointless. Thank you. Church. I just want you to know that, you know? You're praying, but you're working. As we say in Ifa, yeah. Ache. Next. <laughs> Next up in here, we got Space High saying he got some hella jelly concentrate, and he's asking the table, what's your guys' favorite kind of concentrate and what flavor? Jelly Blaze. <laughs> Godfather says, I know that I'll be up in three weeks. Hell, Hell yes. Yes, yes, you he will. will. <laughs> Playing disc golf again. Drinking apple juice. <laughs> That's right. Give us a round for that. <laughs> disc golf and apple juice. Oh. And many dabs. Smoke. So what's your guys' favorite kind of concentrate and what flavor? Cali Blaze Rosin, dude. Cali Blaze everything. Thank yeah, you. Cali yeah. Blaze all the way. Rosin, yeah. bro. Rosin. I'll tell you what, though. West Coast Cure, too. They got some good stuff, too. The, their cake batter, all that. They do, but let's be real. 
We haven't had that shit in such a long time. We have not. Yeah, like we are spoiled with Cali Blaze, the best, the on finest. The Cali Blaze, we stay stuck on that. Yeah, yeah, my man. Oof. Other people try to like. I don't. I think. Comatose. I don't think other other Rosin companies hit, hit, even bother to hit us up. They're like, no, nah, we see a Cali Blaze. Well, they know we got the best. No, but this, dog. This, I mean, we got the dog. best sitting Cali at Blaze the had, table with that, us. I mean, that fucking jar like this. It's like, come on, bro. They're like, we gotta uh, send way more than that <laughs> jar to fucking. Yeah, like, it's, a, it's a high standard to live up to. I mean. Come on. Oh, Fucking comes in here with like like ten jars. I mean, we bro. dubbed him the Concentrate King. That's a high standard to say. Oh, I'm honored. <laughs> All right. Next. Oh, and next up in here, we got Edward up in here saying snacks, throwing the grub, <laughs> keeping an eye on my house, making sure no pigeons are shitting on me. <laughs> <laughs> that is the good thing about hawks. They will keep pigeons. Away from the hood. That video got yeah, almost a million yeah, views on B Real TV, you know. What's that? The hawk eating the, the, the pigeon rat. head or the rat hawk. head. Yeah, the hawk's eating it. He got almost, a, what was it, 980? Oh, yeah, when he peeled the head right yeah, off. Yeah, that's almost at a million views already. Oh, I've, been oh, seeing, yeah. I've been seeing a lot of hawks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Big time in the city. I love you for that, B Real. Yeah, well, you guys know it. You guys I have been, though. You They're not that, all dude. hawks, though, man. Yeah. I, 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 I was starting to look, I, you know, I have binoculars and shit. So like when I go hiking, oh. yeah. So when I, I know they're not a lot of, they're when, not no, all hawks, but like the birds I've been seeing as of late, where I've been seeing them, a lot of them are hawks. But like you know how some of them they look like hawks, but there are like sub predatory uh, species yeah. of birds. So it's like they they just look like mini hawks. Like I be getting confused all the time. So you look at them and they they got like this weird little feather in their head, bro. It's weird. Yeah, I'm no. not talking about quails. I know what the fuck I'm talking about because quails don't kick it on top of there, bro. There's also a, a one that, that people confuse is a turkey vulture. Yeah. Word yeah. Up. And they fly around parks. You'll see them around parks a lot. But Standing those, in power lines. And too. they're big, so they look like hawks <laughs> from like yeah. high up, but they're not. You know what I'm saying? But no, but I've been seeing a lot of hawks around the 218 and the 210. Here's wow. a turkey vulture. Yeah, when it big. flies, look how big that shit is. Huge. How about the California condor? Oh like biggest bird. God. A voucher? Yeah, that yeah, thing is, I think, California the biggest bird is the California is, is, condor. Yeah, I think it's the, the widest, the widest span. Uh, That's crazy. Yeah, man. man. And it's a vulture. Yeah. Uglies. Yeah. They look ugly. They all ugly as hell. They are man. ugly. Look at that. Any vulture is Yo, ugly. Yo, look at the size of put it in its wingspan. It's look at that ass. thing. Look, yeah, this Vultures are big ass birds. It'd be kind of cool just but to that, see one, though. That motherfucker <laughs> right there is next level big. Like. You go in the desert, boy. You'll see him. <laughs> all right. Next. Bird. And let's see. Up in here. Next up in here, we got. Okay, we got a little beer shotgun fail for you guys uh -oh. here. Uh oh. Shot. Who failed? Shotgun. Do it for the gram. Oh. Yeah! Got her. Good. That's what you got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that my out. God. Damn. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> she was trying to do the pouty lips. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. That's what you I get. think that's on purpose. Yeah, though. me yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't I think know. it's stage. Yeah. Did I you get stage? No, I think I don't think so. Yeah, it's yeah, like a challenge so. because there's multiple videos of people doing the same thing, but I don't think she knew. No, she didn't yeah, know. She didn't know. <laughs> look, look at the release on her face. Look, it's just yeah, but shh. Uh, she yeah, starts laughing, she but she didn't know. She, I mean, she starts laughing, but she didn't know. <laughs> She, she, was, didn't know, she didn't know. She didn't know. It was good. They yeah. sold it. Yeah, she baby. was doing the most. Crazy. Right? Crazy. <laughs> I know. Crazy. Yeah, no, that was good. That was good. I'll well accept done. that. I was, was just going to show you guys quick. What was it? The California condor you guys yes. were saying? Yeah. Here's one of them right here. Look. Look at that thing. There you go. It's look bigger than dude. It's the biggest bird, man. That shit can for sure it. eat a baby. Look, man, that thing can eat a, 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 you know, what do you call them? Little people. <laughs> it looks like homeboy from that Jurassic Park. Huge. It's a huge ass bird. Wow. It could pick up a minute. And they eat anything. Definitely. Dead. Oh my mostly God. dead things, though. Yep. That's all they eat is dead. Yeah. Girl. You should get one as a petty. Yeah, they don't want to do no work. They don't hunt for nope. living things. They're like, whatever Scavenges. scraps that are left, we're taking Grant. that shit right yeah. there. <laughs> and we got Eddie up in here saying, episode 634 had me cracking up with E-Zone. This is the bread punching bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he needs that. Is yeah. that a real thing? I would buy that if that's a limited edition. <laughs> See, well, what, what I was asking for was you take the scene of Rocky hitting the side of beef and you replace the side of beef with a loaf of bread and you replace <laughs> Rocky's face with E-Zone's face. Yeah. That's what I was looking for, but this is pretty good. Like a croissant or something. 
Shout out, shout, out, <laughs> shout out to the people that got inspired and si- sent me videos of them punching some bread out there in the grocery stores. Bro, this idiot. Re- oh my them. god! So I know it's true. <laughs> the I see it on challenge. A, yeah, I see it on a story and <laughs> some so idiot in a thing punching. Some a dude just bread. went in there. He was like, uh, mm, like he's, he's now causing. You're, now you're wasting food and yeah. gonna get people in trouble. All right. He's causing That's havoc crazy. everywhere, man. Yeah. You should go up to the to the <laughs> to the register and be like, I don't want this. Be like, why? <laughs> Because it got ease on that's, that's why. <laughs> Somebody ease on this bread. Oh, <laughs> they probably, dude, I'd get, they'd ask me to leave, man. I like going to that grocery store because they don't know that I'm pu- the one punching shit. Oh, wait till someone out. sends them the link. <laughs> All right, thanks. And we got Neo the One 1981 having a little healthy dinner while watching Monday's show. Ooh, look at that. That, that looks like a healthy dinner. That is healthy. Bring yeah. it. Throw some sriracha. And you mm. notice he's not drinking no more diet soda, straight yeah, water. Right, water, yeah. yeah. Good for him, heck yeah. Good for you. It's tequila. Salute. <laughs> you know what, though? I'm glad people say good for him. Because and, 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 you know what's the one thing when you try to make positive shit like that and then somebody's like, but you should add this or try to add modify. He's like, hey, bro, just let me have this. Fuck you. I switched it up. Mm-hmm. I'm happy for <laughs> you, dog. Damn it. Drink that water, bro. Drink it. And we got one lake show up in yours was saying, uh, I was given this flower recently because I'm in quarantine and trying to recover. Okay. Too bad I cannot taste it very much, but the medicine helps. You can feel it. I mean, you may not be able to taste it, but you could feel it. Speaking of feel it. So yet yesterday or the day before or two days ago, um, Pedro, or maybe two days in a row, we talked about his fingernail or his thumbnail um, full of RSO that he took, right? You yeah. took about a thumbnail. Yeah, I filled it up like so I couldn't see my thumbnail no more, and I just. So I was trying to take whoa, thumbnail whoa, last whoa. night before I went to sleep, and I keep mine in the fridge, so they were kind of stiff. You know what I mean? And I'm trying to like you know push the thing and get that amount, and I end up pushing half the damn <laughs> half the damn syringe, bro. Holy shit! Oh dude. man, the adventures in my sleep were everything and then when i got up i was high as fuck dry oh. mouth <laughs> my eyes were crispy Where am I, I i go on my treadmill like to you know get my morning work off workout off and <laughs> work I, off and my god i was so goddamn high through that workout like higher than i ever been for any workout <laughs> and Whoa. on my way here i was high as fuck I hadn't smoked one joint, and I was high as fuck. Like, oh, so ha- taking hard. half of that syringe right before I went to sleep, bro. Like, I, I knew I was gonna, f- I-, I knew I was gonna feel it. I didn't think I was gonna feel it that much, but I totally felt it. Man, yeah, you can't let it go to waste. Oh, all I, that no, I, I did it. I did it. I was like, you know, <laughs> there was no way I was gonna waste it and spit it out, or like, nah, I was going for the ride. And we had talked about it that. <laughs> <laughs> that day, like, you know, most people, you know, they they start off small and then, you know, eventually they're taking the whole syringe. <laughs> I want to try that yeah. shit. And I went half the syringe, bro. He says it was such a glee. Oh, know. yeah. It yeah. was. I, I, I don't regret it. I would definitely <laughs> I do it again. In your tone, oh, yeah. I'm going to do another halfy and then eventually go to the fully, son. You can't. Oh, we should do a you can't do. You can't do the, um, like. Like that during the daytime? Like, what's the deal? Like, yeah, let's do a can I show. I'm d- no, I'm, no, no, no. I, I'm down to do it for the daytime. i just been doing it at night because it okay. helps me get a full but like, like, stay hard with me, sleep. Stay with me, How baby. bad would it if like, like if I get a syringe and I'm like, all right, dude, I'm not going to do no more other <laughs> you're barbiturates. You're going to be I'm, really hot. I'm going to take that at Disneyland before I take it. Fuck it. I'm going to eat this. Oh, practice. you're going to fall asleep. It's like, no, it's, it's, it's like if you did 30 flips. Cause I I don't know I want to try with the with that show. It's like oh, if you on. did thirty flips. That's a lot, dude. That come on, man. Listen, I've done me. thirty Help. flips here. Um, so half that <clears throat> syringe probably feels like that. The full syringe probably feels like sixty flips. Oh. Yeah, I still haven't touched our so since then. Dude, Don't be afraid. Pretty, embrace yeah, it. Man. <laughs> Sack up, Dro. Come on. Sack up. It's good man. for you. All right. Next. <laughs> oh, man. All right. We got GLA Rain up in here. She's saying these are how many hours she watched us on Twitch this past year. Hell yeah. 841. Let's Hell go. Yeah, that's more than me. Damn. Okay. okay. It's a female. I got to get my BB up. All right. It's All a right. lot of laughs. Got to get your Dope. views up, Poppy. Nice. Nice. Beautiful. 
And wow. next up in here, we got an old school muscle car. Uh, floors it on the highway and ends up spinning out. Oh man, that's oh, a Chevelli, Chevelli. Nice, Chevelli. Oh no! Oh. Oh. Damn, God. fucked up the other car more than his own. Yeah, fuck. What an we asshole. Wow. Oof. Man, I hope that other person has seatbelts on rolling like that. They missed like half the video, but they got the... Yeah, I know. <laughs> they got the moment. Damn. Homeboy loses control. Stupid. No, no, no. That poor oh, guy flips a couple a times, no. so I hope they had seatbelts. Hey, when I had my accident, that's how the car flipped. <laughs> I believe when I almost yeah. died three times, bro. Yeah, Just like that, it. I was like, whoa. Three rolls, huh? Yeah. Crazy. Mm. Well, the guy in the muscle car... Mm. Asshole, for real. I got a little, uh, a couple of construction videos here for you guys. Nah, oh. come on, man. That shit doesn't. Oh, it's all right. You're safe. You're sitting in a seat. That shit. Every time uh, those always, the they always make you feel like. Yo, shit. my <laughs> man. What is going? Oh, on? Yo, he looks like he's about to fall. Like, yo, like, he's standing on little pipe. He's a pipe no. away. Was that, that he's mean? One pipe away, <laughs> doc. Don't get piped up, <laughs> Mr. George. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Hey dog. Oh, no, nah, fuck that. I went bro. to the fuck hood. All of that. I went to the hood the other day and they said homie was on the pipe. Yeah. <laughs> nah, man. Fuck all that. I still trip out on how they build skyscrapers back in the day. Whoa. People, yeah, bro. A lot of exactly. people, yeah, a lot of people died when they made a lot of they skyscrapers. Did. Oh, yeah. Bro, it was part of building it. Bridges and skyscrapers. Right. People died. Many people yeah, perished. Yeah. Like the Golden Gate Bridge. A mother bunch Yo, of motherfuckers are crazy. buried. Brooklyn Bridge was like 18. Bunch of motherfuckers are in the same. Right. Kind and, of, yeah. And, the, yeah, yeah, and those yeah. big ass bridges yeah. guarantee you. At the least, there's there's a few bodies in the Many. foundation of the cement. That's what they say. Like, if you look, Damn. like, Brooklyn Bridge was, I think, one of the oldest, the Manhattan Bridge, and these are, like, 150-year-old bridges, and they're tremendous. Like, the Golden Gate Bridge got many lives on it like that. Blood on it. Yep. All right, next. What do you think about these guys? Fuck them. They're cr not fuck them. Fuck that. They're <laughs> crazy. Uh, hey, yeah, salute to them. They yeah, got, salute to them. That. Salute to them. They got balls of steel. I would say that. I would say. He says fuck them. Nah, bro. <laughs> I meant fuck what they yo, were doing. That's a, Much yo, love. Yo. He meant fuck hey, yeah, doing no. what they do. <laughs> yes. Yo. Much love for what they're doing, but nah, fuck that, bro. No, yeah. fuck away. no way. I mean, there's, the fact that there's guys willing to do that, man. Yeah. Salute to them. There's a picture where you guys had the Cypress Hill, um, the the film. Uh, on the building where you walk in, they had a picture of the five construction workers standing on top of the, the needle of the building yeah. with the with the, the Intercontinental, I think, with yeah. the Pepsi sign. Yeah, that was a crazy shot. Yeah. Yeah. Just five people those standing. Dudes, those dudes are fucking nuts. Man. Out of their mind. Yeah. All right, next. We got this one just sent in by Pedro. Oh, man, yeah. He saved it. Oh, <laughs> oh thank God. All right, that's funny because the kids are right. Oh, man. I didn't, like, throw them. Y'all trying to kill me, man. Go ahead, go yeah. ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, be try oh, oh, shit. Oh, man. I save at the end. Damn, homie needs to get in that gym. <laughs> he needs to get in that gym. It's like, I always like what was he that. trying to do? He's good. <laughs> <No. laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. Thank you for your submissions. Keep them coming to Be Real TV Contest. Be Real TV Contest at gmail.com. I will yeah. run them. B. Yeah. The other day I heard you bring that 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 clip. That clip of that I used to like about the birthday clip. I brought it up, yes. Dude. Because because we had yeah. a clip that we ran yesterday that I felt yeah, I was, the way you felt about the table clip is the way I I felt I, I, about the clip that we did yesterday. I was watching, bro, and for the fucking on everything, bro, I could not find this fucking video, bro. I'm talking about I spent a I had them take it off. 2 hours yeah. out of my fucking day searching everywhere, you know, like uh, mordida de pastel al extremo, mm. fucking uh, you know, like uh, everything. What is, yeah, just everything. <laughs> Birthday cake uh fail. I, I don't know what the fuck happened to this clip, bro. If anybody could find, find it, bro. Oh, so you still didn't find it? No, I spent two. I'm talking about I went to page 72 on YouTube, dude. Did, I was like. Did you see the clip that we did yesterday? That we uh, you, you heard what we were talking about. Yeah, I saw about. the clip you laughed at. Yeah, you saw yeah. it? Yeah, no, I saw it. You know, I, 
And then I started thinking, I was like, what did happen to this clip? And I, was, I tried looking uh, for it, and I couldn't find it. I want to real quick, before we open up the doors to the Insane Asylum, play that clip one more time, and then the new clip that I that I put up today. That's raw. <laughs> oh, with the cat? I see, yeah, I see that one. Yeah, well, they haven't. <laughs> this, this made me laugh today while I was still um, very high off of um, the RSO effects. Okay. Let's check it out. You're talking about the uh, the wrestling one. Yeah, do the wrestling one one more time, and then, and then the one. Yeah, today. that's the one that made you laugh, dude. Yeah, because it's too funny. Like the sound effect, even. <laughs> it's thrust. The thrust. And I got the luxury of the heater over here. Sound, please. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> oh, I was like, I kill him. <laughs> what happened with? The I don't sound? know why the sound's not. <laughs> Coming in to be honest. Should be. <laughs> That's Yo, get look at this. He's like on his tippy toes when he did that. <laughs> <laughs> and you you definitely need the sound for the next one, otherwise don't even play it. Yeah, yeah. The sound's not working right now. With oh that. man. I don't know why. Come on, Instagram. Oh my god. What the fuck? All right, well, let's open up the doors to the insane asylum. We'll play that clip tomorrow. Uh if you got a comment, question, shout out, suggestion, here we go. Welcome to the Insane Asylum. Let's do this. All right, let's do this. First one up of the day, we got tequilas out of tacos up in here saying he's taking some dabs for Megan, and he's saying after that dab, he feels like a spaceman walking around. Work. Rocket man. Rocket man. That's rocket mine. And we got Dr. Frost up in here saying he's shoveling snow right now, saying F, shoveling Oof. snow, and next goal is to move to California or Florida. All good. Better. I don't miss that, bro. That's one thing I don't miss is shoveling work. To get, shoveling snow to go to work. Prepare for that California oh. rant, bro. Word up. Well, you know, better <laughs> shoveling. He's in New York. He's already prepared. Better, oh, okay. be, better shoveling snow than shoveling shit. Fact. What where, 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 dog where, where is it gonna rain shit, shit no. to bowl in your driveway, bro? <laughs> like, that's you could little... work on a farm or a ranch. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, I thought I would put it together for you, cause <laughs> yeah, I, I right. didn't see it. I was like, oh, we went from cold. I was like, who's shitting that much in New York? <laughs> and we got stylish Birch up in here saying the Church of E Zone praise the Great Balloon. <laughs> praise the fuck away. Nah, bro, I'm not trying to start in no church. Unless maybe for tax exemptions. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, I'm fucking around. <laughs> no, I'm not. You know, one is not to make a mockery of the higher power. <laughs> nope. And we got uh, Uncle Lino up in here saying, "Damn, we got Sun Doobie in the building. What up, man? Love you guys. I love you guys. I'm here at your service. Curious, Colton. Is it Lino or Lenio? I got a joke. Okay. Uh, it's L I N O. All right, Lino. It doesn't have the thing on, on top of the N? Nope. All right. All right. It's Leno. Mm. Oh, what's your joke? The joke was what kind of pirate pisses on girls? R. <laughs> Kelly. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Acceptable. Next. And we got Darren Cushman up in here saying, relax and be positive and no boof to the table. Word. Word, uh, no boof. Awesome. Yeah, no boof. No boof at no all. Boof. And we got Prude Ho Posse up in here saying, I'm on some RSO chews right now. Gonna sleep like a baby after the smoke sesh. And he's saying the last time it was great. RSO, RSO Posse. Uh, RSO chews. chews. All right. Oh, and the, and it, you said the smoke Ho Posse? Uh, let's see here. Imagine uh, it. Prude Ho Posse. Prude Ho Posse. Prude ho posse. All right. Awesome. Can, can he send a picture of these RSO chews? Because I'm picturing him just covering a blue chew and just RSO. <laughs> Making it a black And chew. just saying, like, fuck it. We're going in. Uh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're just going to fuck really high. Like, I, think that's a, I think that's a female. I think that's a female. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> I mean, it said prude, prude ho. And we got first time chatter up in the Twitch, George up in here saying, big fan and long time heavy 420 smoker. He's asking, are you guys ever worried about lung health in the old age? No. Nope. How many chunks still alive? Nope. 
smoke. Nah, this is not tobacco. I mean, if you smoke, if you were smoking blunts, if we were smoking blunts all the time, then I would maybe have some sort of concern. But nah, exactly. we don't. Right, we are exactly right. <laughs> Biro, you remember that that Tommy Chong event? Yeah. You remember when he was in that car and then that person got right over and he had no idea what was going on? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> that just forever, like, <laughs> top number one Tommy Chong memory for me. <laughs> I, I can understand that. I was going <laughs> to let you guys know I got the video. I, I just sent it in here. All right. We need audio on the other one, though. This is still, this is still good. <laughs> that is it, yeah. You had a full-on donkey mask. That's crazy. <laughs> the donkey kick. They just need the a Shrek up in there. That's probably his tag team partner, dude, Shrek. <laughs> I'll all talk right, about dude. the other one. This, all right, we've already done this one. I just got him. Why not? All right. He was on his tippy toes. Can't even play. <laughs> yeah, the tippy toes. Yeah, clip that <laughs> what are you, a fucking cat, bro? He just nah, fucking just that fly, He just man. got that fly in midair, bro. I did. Like, you didn't see that? I, I just yeah, got but, some magic on it. Like, yeah. Easy, Machio. I really? I yeah, no, I swear to God, bro. I literally bro, I grabbed, foot, I grabbed like, this shit out of the end and threw it on the floor. Like a I was fucking proud of cat myself. right now. Just like. Mr. Good move. Yagi yeah. over here. That little bastard was just like buzzing. No. Mr. Mr. Machio, because, you know, he, you know, Miyagi only told. Mom, Daniel son. Daniel son. <laughs> what what to do? Right. He didn't say that he had done it. No, he sat there doing it. Well, he tried to do it. Oh yeah, uh, Miyagi did it though. No, Miyagi never did do one? it. No. Are you sure? No. I've seen him trying, but he never got he one. He never caught oh, one. Oh okay. Daniel son got one. You might be right. He was just trying. Oh, I know. I'm is right. Cobra you might over. Yeah, I'm not questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that series over? No. No, they have one more. They have like an upcoming season. I right? think they got one more season in them. Yeah, I bought all the toys. I was like, I bet you did. I sure did. They're going up in value. Right. All right. <laughs> and we got Commander Roach 9000 up in here saying, I generate power, devour cowards in an hour. Who's oh. got the funeral flowers? Oh, He's saying, yo, what beef. up, son? Can you shout out TWO? Hey, shout out to TWO, but I thank B because uh, B made that song. And, you know, thank him for just... Um, let me get on there. And that's it, man. And I thank him for being in the video, too, for Wap Baba Lou Bob. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Hell yeah. And next up in here, we got Eddie Lopez saying, man, son, Doobie takes me back to the good old days of high school. Salute. Word. Hey, hey I, I, thank you, man. Thank you. I love you guys. Yeah, heck yeah. You hear both to try to get his Dr. Dre on a second ago? <laughs> sure. He was like, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even notice it until you pointed it out. <laughs> Can I get yeah. a hell yeah? <laughs> and we got Eddie Lopez back up, and you're saying, shout to Son Doobie. I was always listening to your music all through high school. I met you outside a show during a snowstorm. You're a kick-ass <laughs> dude. All right, thank you, guys, man. Uh, happy holidays to you and your families, man. Thank you, guys. And don't forget, Funky Field Tips, don't forget these, man. These are amazing, awesome, phenomenal. Thank you. Yeah, then we got a new one coming out. Pedro, what's the name? I texted you. Pisces. There you go. Pisces. Pisces. Yeah. Pisces. Speaking, yeah. Let's yeah. Let's me know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, or, you know, or, or we could change it to oh, Pisces you know, right now. Oh, Pisces. Or the Pisces, because I got a belt buckle that just looks like these. <laughs> Yeah, but we got a, the, that's the new Funky Filter that will be coming out a regular size Friday at 4.20 p.m. at FunkyFilterTips.com. That is the Pisces and regular size. So make sure you guys get that. Pisces. Pisces, guy. What the fuck? You guys hanging out with me too much. Seriously, the bull. Oh, my God. Shout out to Pisces. It's. No, didn't you? Pisces. Okay, fine. Uh, Pisces. <laughs> but yeah, the it's, Pisces. Hey, drop be in. careful. <laughs> Don't stand around bolted. It's contagious. Huh? <laughs> it's pronounced. Pronunciation all over the fucking Colton, place. you should have felt like shit after I showed you those Asian people singing. Uh, <laughs> oh, that was great. Awesome music. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, it was like, those guys are killing it. She's rolling her R's <laughs> and everything. R's. Hard. Oh. And I was going to say, too, these are coming in the classic fatty and high roller size. Oh, so yeah. All three. Nice. So get them all three on Friday. Oh, trio. Oh. Three is the magic number. Oh. Look, bro, you can knock out three gifts and one purchase, bro. Do it on Friday. All right. Excellent. And we got Tito the Fool up in here with Be Real. What up? Do you have to check in? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Let me think. Oh, yeah. Let me think. With, yeah, with my wife. <laughs> <laughs> well said. Straight up. <laughs> 
And we got oh, Belford bad. Thomas up in here saying, I love Cypress Hill. Y'all was dope back in the days, and y'all are still dope. Fair enough. Thank you. Facts. What's up? Let it be known. Tell Whatever. Him. And we got Roger up in here saying, shout to Dr. Greentham's show, giving us the aw, yeah, and saying happy birthday month to E-Zone. <laughs> happy you. birthday year to Callie Blaze. <laughs> God damn it. And yo, oh, B. <laughs> What's up? He's saying, when's the next round of mystery boxes? And thanks. Very soon. We're just waiting on a couple things to complete them, and then we'll be popping them off. There you go. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and that seems to be it so far. Hell yeah. <laughs> Big shout out to Bo. Word up, man. Love you, Bo. Oh, man. We know that more um, come as as the show progresses, so uh, we'll take them as they Yo, come. Salute to all y'all. Be real. So I I saw this footage of, um like, I, do you guys believe in giants? <laughs> oh, the one I, you... Yeah. Yeah, I think there once upon a time might might have been. There's Dude, some... I thought it was once upon a time too, but I mean, I, there's recent footage that has been coming he's, up. He says there's once upon a no. But I mean, you look for for you to be able to see somebody from a mountain point of view and be like, damn, I could see their whole fucking body. That person has to be massively big for you to see it from a distance. Right. And like, there's footage from I think it's Mexico and Canada, right? I oh, post wow. I posted it on my story, and I was like looking at the footage. Do you think that there's a possibility of giants being out there still? No. Both of these are in a mountain thing. No. I don't oh, think here it is. So. All right, look, here it is. Yeah, footage you can't trust. And the guy who filmed it in Canada is missing 11 days after he fucking filmed this. Nah, man. Where would they fucking hide? That's stupid. Dude, that is a huge person from it's that. It's not point. real. It's called editing. It's easy. Did you Hello? see the kid walking over <laughs> lava yesterday? That's way better than this shit edit. Yeah, that looks like this the is homie. real. It's that, not real. That looks like the homie spider from the hood, homie. There's a real. There, there's I mean, a real. Well, the, here's the thing. We live in a world like somebody said. Every motherfucker has a phone and recording. If there's giants walking around. When that motherfucker got to the bottom, right. there'd be other people with cameras. Okay. Not just one obscure view from fucking half a mile. Look at the, Look okay. at this other one. This okay. is the Mexico. Get oh, me dude. more. All right. Of course, Those again, from cameras. afar. In a village. Yeah, let's see it up people. close. Yeah, come I on. I mean, that's what, you might as well say that's well, Bigfoot. That's a big You might as well say that's Bullshit. Bigfoot up exactly. there. Bullshit. Well, it could be. You just don't nah. know. It's a, it, Bigfoot is, is pretty much could be co considered a giant. He's that size. Where it's giant considered, compared to human. A giant doesn't necessarily have to be Cyclops size and be like, oh, shit. That motherfucker would be right. Cyclops size. All right. Not uh, we got a new one that just came in. Go ahead. We got Robert up in here saying, shout to Son Doobie from Big Rob HC Remedies. HC Remedies, I remember them. Salute, Rob. Word up, man. Big shout out to Rob. Word up, man. Thank you, guys. Once again, can't thank you guys enough. Don't forget funky field tips. Yeah, man. And we got Resin up in here saying, Son Doobie, props on the transplant song back in the days. You smashed it and salute. Oh, we did. Me and B did. Yeah, thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Just thank you. And thank also to Rob Aston. Love you, brother. Always. Yeah, forever. you know, and rest in peace <laughs> uh, to, to, the, to the homie Twitch that passed away. Um, he, took, he, he took his own life, right? I believe that was the... Yeah, that was the news. That was the news. Um, oh, man, if, if you're having, you know... Things in your head, call someone. Word. Call a hotline where they could, where you know you could talk to someone, talk about what's bothering you, man. Don't don't let that don't let it bottle up, and uh, it turn into something that goes out of control like that. But rest in peace and condolences to his family. Yeah, <sighs> yeah. That was random too. Yeah, I like... saw that this morning on on D Nice's account. Like, yeah, and I seen it. I seen him on a lot of you know, obviously Ellen, Ellen shows, and it's like, yo, it's, uh, it's crazy. You wouldn't think someone like him would, would you know, it like, would happen to someone like well, him. Well, you but. just never know what someone in their personal life is going through, because yeah. what they, what you see in the public, that's them holding it together if they're going through something, and you just never know until you know. Yeah. All right, next one, Bolton. <laughs> And let's see here. Next up here, we got Nikon up in here, and he's saying the same thing. Rest in peace to Twitch. Yeah. And we got Dennis up in here saying, E-Zone looked up mud, fo mud fossils, the rocks. Look up mud fossils, the rocks. They were alive. Also a tarantula. tarantula <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. I don't even know this. Tartarian, Tartarian Empire. 
They knew about free energy, Tartarian I, Empire. I, okay, number one, thank you for putting me up on the mud fossils. I haven't really. Uh, I kind of. Oh, I kind of knew somewhat about the theory, just like how like I feel that certain rocks, like the people that are pe petrified or at this point are petrified. That like they used to be like living things at some point, but over time it was they just got like I guess you know the time does its thing. But the Tartarian, <clears throat> uh, what is it? Uh, I guess society. Dude, there's pictures and shit of like, an actual documentation that, you know, they have made sure to wipe out of everything where people have, like, this high tech devices and like Tesla type of energy, but like for you know the people who control the energy industry, have made sure to wipe this out of the whole thing. You can, but if you can find something on the Tortarian Empire, that that was a very technologically advanced society, and they were believed to not be from this world. But they were supposed to be some kind of hybrid, and th and they took all their technology and <laughs> wiped them out of the whole part of history, pretty much. You know, I want to thank um, this this person as well for putting putting you up on game with with all that, and also putting Bolton's mom up on game that Bolton can't read big words. <laughs> it wasn't even that. I was just looking at it. it I was not uh, ready. That. I'm gonna be dead serious. I was not ready for that super chat. <laughs> And I was like, I was scrolling over at the same time trying to read everything and looking at something else. I didn't even know we had another one, to be honest. Okay. <laughs> you almost fucked up fossils, bro, I'll tell you that. I know, I was like, how do you fuck that up? That's just two regular words, mud and fossils, He's bro. look up mud, fossils, the rocks that were alive, also the Tartarian Empire. Just because you pronounce it right now doesn't mean you did it right the first time. <laughs> let's go, let's look back at it. And at the same time, I was like, I was like, I have no idea what this dude's talking about. Mud, fossils, Tartarian Empire. You killed it. <laughs> I was like, where are we going at here? Read a, read a book, dude. <laughs> It was like you were reading Spanish. <laughs> it kind of was. I was like, where are we at? Uh, yeah. oh, shit. Can't read a book. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I was like, mud fossils. Mm. What kind of grade do you think your moms would give you right now? If she fucking fail his ass. What kind of grades would he get if his mother wasn't his teacher? He was fucked. <laughs> Dude, kid would fuck. Are you saying oh, she wow. adjusted his wow. grade? Definitely. Hundred percent. Cal State Long Beach Definitely. might be worse than CSUN, bro. I'll tell you that much, bro. Cause like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no more dad's pre-show. Oh, Actually, that's god. not an excuse. It has nothing to do with oh, dad. Yeah. You just can't read. <laughs> yeah. the, the Spanish shit, I get yeah. the language barrier, but English. Yeah. You're born speaking that shit, bro. Like, <laughs> and it, his mother's an English teacher, bro. His uh, mother is literally an English teacher, and that's, you can't read. That's it. what's so precious about this uh, whole thing. Yep. All right, next. <laughs> And we got Tito the Fool back up in here saying, currently bumping Vicente Fernandez, Volver, Volver. 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 That sounds Volver. like a, Volver. Sounds like, yeah, that Volver. sounds like a woman's uh, <laughs> vaginal parts. Hold on. Volver. 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 Hold on. Hold. Volver. 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 Say <laughs> God. Volver. Ver. Oh my oh. god. Bobear. You're for yeah. sure getting oh, robbed in Mexico, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like you're speaking French. Bo say bol, bol. Like vowel, bol. Bol. <laughs> Tell him, Drew. Get him. Say, say what? Bol. Bol. Ver. Ver. Bol, ver. Bol, ver. Yeah, that's it. Say, so, like, if you're saying it with a B, bol, ver. Bol, ver. No, <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> Steve Colbert. Oh. Yeah, Steve no. Bobert. <laughs> Bobert. Steve Bobert. <laughs> yeah, no, You're horrible man. at that shit, Colton. <laughs> yeah. God I'm going to have to co-sign son here. But the, the E-Zone thing, I was scrolling, trying to read this. I was like, I, yeah, I was I was not okay. ready for that. I had a little excuse on, there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Bobert. Bobert. If Bobert. you need that out, we'll give it to you. <laughs> I can see why it kind of looks like revolver to you, but like it's like, but I, I, come on, Volver. This is Volver. <laughs> Volver. Because if you put like, an R E, it Vol is Volver. 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 <laughs> Where's Ferris Volver at? <laughs> Sounds like a car. Yo, let's get in the Volver. Got Marbell in the chat. Oh, you got a oh, Steve, no. man. Of course we do. <laughs> yeah, we got Marbell up in your B. <laughs> okay, you could say that right. Huh? <laughs> you got to stop doing Nas, Colton. 
We should skip this one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Why, well, you can't read it? Come on. Let's hear it. Oh, so deep. We got Marvell up in here saying, Bolton, you tickle the brain, Pompeian, spam, eating jabroni. <laughs> 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 He's saying, I have a gift for you, a, twen- a free 24-month free trial of Rosetta Stone. <laughs> <laughs> so you won't feel the conundrum. Conundrum, oh my God. Conundrum. 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 You know. <laughs> conundrum. <laughs> conundrum. Oh my God. Is that, oh, this is, is that a new, oh is that a new drum God. that just came out? <laughs> 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 More than one hey, problem. That, hey, that's a new uh, drum that Bobo's bringing by next week. I'm just gonna drum. Drum. from Thailand. <laughs> I'm gonna a, look a up this word. Oh, oh my god! I almost died with that one. Hold on. You, oh my god. Hold on. What did you say? What did you? Conundrum. Conundrum. Oh. Conundrum. Conundrum. Oh my god. Conundrum. I almost conundrum. died. Marbell wins. Oh, yeah. Oh, he won <laughs> like he a won motherfucker. Like, he already won the other day. We're that all good. That was gold medal. That's, right hey, there, that's bro. why he used that word. God. He knew. Um, he can't say conundrum. 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 <laughs> Can you use it in a sentence? <laughs> that that was probably... Oh, my Lord. You know what? I want to get the table down there to come up here and read Super Chat right someday. You know that? I'll do, I'll do that. That was I'll as do. good as the wrestling clip, and... That's a zero. Oh, man. Oh, man, that was good. I mean, I don't know how we could end it any better than that. Thank you very much for being here with us today on the Dr. Green Thumb Show. Thank you and many props to Megan James for um sitting in with us. Well, she could salute to son Doobie for popping in with us. He's going to be here on Friday with us as well. Thank you. Um, Always. Word up. So salute to all y'all. Make sure you check this on the replay on Apple Music and Spotify and the Dr. Green Thumb podcast. Um, Yeah. And stay tuned for uh, more good shit that we're going to be dropping. You got shout out, son? I just want to give a big shout out. Soul Assassins, everybody. Um. You know, all everybody, Funk Dubious. I um, also want to give a big shout out DJ Chief Shot. Want to give a big uh, shout out to Christian. And uh, yeah, everybody, do yourself a favor and go get yourself some insane OG. Uh, yeah, thanks to everyone that's tuning in. Salute to everyone here at the table, the Treehouse crew. Make sure you visit your local Dr. Green Thumbs, get the insane flavors. And uh, yeah, follow me at Vote for Joe. Treehouse. Shout out to the Insane Asylum. Thank you guys so much. Shout out to Ray Morning Shot Films. Shout out to The Dominator. Shout out to Marbell again. Mm-hmm. And don't forget about the Pisces or Pisces <laughs> that they say at the table. Funky drop. Pisces. That was great. Pieces. Pieces, whatever you said. <laughs> Pieces. Yeah, man. Shout out to everybody at the table. Insane Asylum, 5150s. Uh, everybody works with us, supports our, our, our brand, supports the show. Um, shout out to everybody that's helping us move facilities right now. Really appreciate all the help. Um, family, fiance, everybody, man. I'll see y'all on Friday. Bang. Number one, shout out to everybody who uh, tuned in this morning for the Wake and Bake. It was a good recap. Thank you, everybody who went out, who came out to the Post Pizza. We did our thing there, and it was quite a memorable night. Had a lot of fun with you guys. Tune in tomorrow for another episode of the We Don't Smoke the Same Podcast, 7 to 9. Follow me on Social Club at Flavors by Ezone with one S. And follow me on whatnot, uh, you know, and flavors by Ezone on there too. There's a lot of good stuff uh, being auctioned off there, especially during the holidays. I mean, I got like a lot of vintage stuff on there, so make sure you look out on that. And highhungry.shop, the the same team air freshener collection will be dropping tonight. So hopefully, if you guys want the Steph Tone, the XG, my my air freshener or Ray air freshener will be available tonight. And thank you everybody who sold out the baller jars. There are no limits on what you can achieve if you just take the limits you put on yourself away and do what you set out to do. Believe it, don't hope it. That's the key along with love. Spread love, no negativity, no boof, only top shelf ways of thinking. Swallow that. TV.